Hey everyone, welcome to the Silver Gauntlets. We're back. If you missed Tournament Zuta. Uh, and we're back with some... Sorry, I got Echo. <laughs> <laughs> no we're going to play some mixed balls. I'm so sorry. Um, hearing myself speak really loudly through my headphones wasn't pleasant. No. Uh, yeah, never a pleasant experience, especially because... <laughs> You tend to hate the sound of your own voice, or at least I do. Yeah, um, I think I'm kind of used to it now. I've watched too many races of me commentate, and I'm just kind of used to it now. I'm still not there yet. It's still <laughs> like the inward cringe that you feel. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we have our uh, our two races, uh, racers today, uh, Tom and Ryu Kane, uh, who will be doing this mixed pools race. Um, I think this might be the first mixed pools race that we've ever done on the Silver Gauntlets. Yes, it is. So... Just as a, a quick summary for everything, because this is the first time we've, we're showing this, um, and a lot of people probably haven't seen a lot of the mixed pool stuff. This is the mixed pools tournament. Uh, that basically the seeds mean that every location that can be randomised um, is actually randomised with each other. So instead of walking into the Temple of Time and finding the Temple of Time, you may find the Shadow Temple or the Shield Grave. Or you may end in an overworld location like the Haunted Wasteland. So every screen transition will be a unexpected um, entrance. And we'll see a lot of one-waying. We'll see a lot of difficult locations to get to and back from. So, so it's going to be really interesting. Mm, definitely so. And uh, to make things even more exciting, uh, the warp locations are also randomised, which means that uh, any of your warp songs can take you to any location. Um, it'll let you know beforehand when you're about to warp out, so it could be like to the market, for example, or it could be um, to Link's house. You just never know. Mm -hmm. And we've also got scrubs, we've also got shops. We don't have cows, uh, but we have... Well, that's what we have. We have Owls shuffled. We have loads of shenanigans. Yeah, no key sanity. Thank goodness the keys are, are still <laughs> vanilla in their dungeons. Um, so that's a great thing to see. We normally see that these seeds take on average between three and a half to four hours. Um, of course, the first hour of it will be mapping. So kind of like seeing where all your locations are. Um, which takes a while. But then the counter side of that is why... It doesn't take like an hour more than a standard seed is because a lot of the dungeon requirements might be fewer than standard. So, for example, to get to the Shadow Temple, we may not need Nocturne, Din's magic. Okay, it might be that it's just in the Shield Grave and we can get in there really simply. We may not need Din's fire, so. Yeah, exactly. So, in some ways, it's a lot harder. But once you've got it mapped out, I think actually getting the notes down and figuring your way out of that is... It's probably the hardest part. Once you've got that, you can start, you know, rushing through it. And you might not need items, as was being said, like the hook shot to get into forest, for example. Mm -hmm. um, and these sorts of things can speed up the seed sometimes, in some areas at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a good example of that is the forest temple, in that the hook shot is actually probably not required for the forest temple. Lo well, logically, most likely, but. Hard required, you could get the hover boots over to the island that may have the small key. So we might see some, we're going to see some different tech. We're going to see some interesting, you know, we could see a lot of child dungeons. So if you're a fan of child DC, then you're in the right place. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's a, a wonderful way to play. And I'm, I'm glad we're seeing some extra uh, variety here because it can make things very interesting seeing how uh, different runners, and we've got some really good ones today, mm. um, tackle these sort of different and more difficult challenges yeah we should really say the tournament uh, currently is in a swiss uh, phase this is swiss round two both these players won their opening matches so that means they are both one and oh so uh, the winner will of course go two and oh and play against other people who are two and oh and then the loser will play people who are one and one and we've got five rounds um so we've got a lot of Swiss um, mix pools coming up. Yep, which means lots more content to cover and a lot more to watch. So thank you for joining us here. Mm. Um, we should be starting relatively shortly. Yeah, I think we should really say that we've got two really good French runners here, like Rio Kane, 
was in the bracket phase of RSL, so definitely used to randomizers. Uh, I think Rio, Rio won one of the standard Blitz tournaments last year, did really well in Season 4. Season 5 maybe was a little bit of a disappointment. Claims they are a Wind Waker main now. Um, and Tom Poos, like previously, did play RSL tournaments, but mostly keeps themselves to just the main standard tournaments, but has been really like playing the pickup mix pools seeds um, and putting a lot of practice in and it's been coming up with some good results so this is actually going to be i wouldn't want to call this one this could go um in anyone's favor and it looks like we're about to start excellent and we'll see exactly where we start and we're starting with the shadow medallion as well so um one less medallion to go out into the world and find mm, that's very true yeah, I should just also quickly note, uh, it's the- Whoa! Just imagine, <laughs> this is standard! <laughs> like, we've got a no Nocturne required seed, but this is mixed pools, that uh, entrance is probably nothing, so... Here we go, starting our mapping by checking the graves in Graveyard. Ooh, and Tom immediately getting trolled by, <laughs> uh, by the pole. And... Fa found the, the mass shop. One of the things with this is it is open mashup, but Bunny Hood is slow. Or, or it's vanilla, should we say. It's, it's the vanilla behavior. And School Mask is a check, but uh, Mask of Truth is not. So that's why they all collected the School Mask there. Yeah. Uh, just probably the only mask that really matters anymore. And uh, we're seeing lots of uh, one way uh, checks all over the graveyard here. Yeah, nothing, yeah nothing. nothing exciting found yet. Nope, we've got a, a house, well, that's the back alley house. People who have played Randomizer, Randomizer probably have never been in that door before that exists. Here's Dampe's hook, which could be a pain to get to, but it's a two scrub grotto, so it'd be a one and done for the Dampe, uh, Dampe hook. And with all these scrubs randomized, any of them could have something interesting, but naturally there's absolutely nothing <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah and, and you'll see this behavior from the runners when they kill the scrubs if you have full health they give you three rupees so it's six quick rupees to get back from and we're in sacred forest meadow nice an interesting uh, journey position but we have seen the hint for this uh the sacred forest meadow was the serenade of water mm -hmm. um, and as you were alluding to before Warp songs are randomized, so it's going to be interesting to see are the runners going to play the song straight away, do a different path, or keep with the path they're at. That was uh, a, oh, look, the, the Gerudo Fortress Storm Grotto is Adult Shooting Gallery. Right. So, sometimes these, uh, sometimes since that are locations, sometimes they can give you really good information, like... The Fire Temple is somewhere really interesting, but sometimes it's just like, well, yeah, I've got to go back in there anyway, so, okay, cool. Yeah, Valley is over out. here, right? Oh, nice, excellent. Yeah, so we have our Way of the Hero hints instead of path, mm -hmm. um, which just kind of makes it a little bit uh, easier to find where you need to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> into Lon Lon Ranch. That's a, a one way for this because that grotto doesn't exist as adult, so they are stuck in Long Long Ranch. So we'll see a lot of this. They'll they'll pop out of like grottos that have boulders in the way, so they actually can't get back in. So But it's good that this um Long Long Ranch tower has nothing because this can be a pain to get to. Very early on, like I said before, you're going to be mapping out the world, seeing where the places are. Of course, songs are really, really powerful, including the warp songs are really powerful. It could be that you logically uh, require songs to reach locations, so rushing um, locations is really important. That's a, another grotto you'd never see in standard, because that's the Octorok Grotto. Is that French Wait. vanilla? <laughs> Very French, French vanilla. <laughs> French the vanilla table. There is a shocking amount of vanilla and French vanilla in these settings. And here's Kakariko Village. This is a big one. A ton of doors, uh, a ton of entrances, and here's the, the windmill. French vanilla windmill as well. <laughs> 
Oh, so we're going to see a lot of entrances now. This is a uh, one place that you want to find early on and want to have access to because you could find loads of different places. We'll see our big divergence now as we pick up the boomerang. Yeah, so Bananas in Seed uh, and playing that song. I mean, I think they'll be very, very happy that they didn't warp immediately out. And I imagine it was also something to do with the, you know, you want to be able to pick up the hints on the way um, and just see where, like, you logically get led to if you are if you follow out, like, from your starting warp. Mm-hmm. So now we're going to go back into the windmill to see what the windmill is. Oh, and, and that's the Shadow Temple. That's just what I was saying before. Now we don't need Nocturne. We don't need... Well, we wouldn't need Nocturne the Seed anyway because of the spawn. But, you know, that's a very easy to access uh, Shadow Temple. So it's, it's funny how that, you know, unless you've played a few of these seeds, it can mess with your head sometimes when you're... Watching runners going towards a location, and suddenly you think, "Oh, they've already been there," but no, they haven't. They just yes. have to that entrance. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking about making a, doing like my own entrance tracker for this, but I was like, you know what? I'd just be spending my time just doing that, and I wouldn't be commentating. So <laughs> we're going in blind. Just remember where the important stuff is. I imagine as as oh wow, Ruto's letter. Um, I was going to say, as commentators, you know, we occasionally make mistakes or misremember things. Uh, it's far more likely here. <laughs> yeah. That Rio's letter is actually one of the items that is more redundant in these settings, because normally in standard, you need Ruto's letter and Boomerang to enter Jabu. But it's very likely that that uh, entrance is nothing in these settings, as we find Dodongo's cavern in adult shooting. So adult only... Uh, for DC today. Um, and we could also find that behind, uh, you know, King Zora, there could be something extremely important, like one of the temples. Mm -hmm. um, that being well, said... All the temples are in Kakariko Village, apparently, because here's the Forest Temple. <laughs> Best hub world. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean yeah, to be fair, who, though, needs, who needs, like, Peach's Castle S in SM... <laughs> 24, 64, when you have uh, Kakariko Village in mixed pools. Oh, and some bomb juice. That's a really nice find. Yeah, that is. Like, they're only... Tom is only doing that check and is left. I wonder if Rio will go deeper. Yeah, Rio is doing deeper. You find that when you find a dungeon, you want to try and... Um, see how much you can do with it as quickly as you can because you never know when you're coming back to this area. You might be another hour until you're back in Kakariko. Mm, very much so. And it was quite hard to get into Kakariko as well um, so far. So we don't, we don't know where we're going to find anything. But I, mm -hmm. to be fair, I would probably be in the same camp as Tom because doing these uh, Stalfos with three hearts and without a shield uh, can be a bit of a pain. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Can be a little bit monk for us. Cubs rule! Cubs, thank you so much for raiding. Good to see you. I hope Final Fantasy went okay. Uh, we've got mixed pools today as Fire Temple is barren for us. That's uh, maybe another thing we should uh, point out at that. We have basically S5 hints that are WAF instead of PATH. One of the um, differences is that the limit for barren dungeons has been lifted. So we could get up to three Baron Dungeons instead of just the standard one. Which is it's nice to know. It it's also makes those hints just that much more powerful, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because finding someone that's like Zora's Fountain is foolish. Well, you're going to need to go in there to check all the entrances anyway, so it kind of defeats the purpose of it. Mm, definitely so. Found the Spirit Temple. Yeah. Uh, um... In the Cow Grotto in DMT. So not too hard to get to there as child either, but you know it might mean that uh, keeping those bombs, those bomb chews safe just in case you need to go in there. Uh, we we don't know where our first bombs are going to be, but we have our first bow. That does make going into Forest Temple a lot better once you have that bow. As yeah. We were saying, uh, before the race started, is that uh, you don't necessarily need the hook shot, but the bow, the bow you kind of do need. 
I'm gonna be okay. Where did Rio get Song of Time from? It was that oh, our from the windmill. Open... From the windmill. Oh yes, it was. It was. It was windmill. Okay. There's um. I'm guessing Tom has it on their side as well. Yes. That's why I was confused. Um. Yeah, we've just got into the fire temple entrance <laughs> with three hearts, which. That's it, you're stuck there. And a serenade is the Temple of Time! <laughs> nice. Which uh, is. Which leads to market? Oh, so serenade is the only way to access Temple of Time as adults. That is really interesting. I wonder when Ryu's going to be playing uh, serenade. And already I can feel myself getting kind of lost, and so you can only imagine what the runners are feeling like. <laughs> Well, Tom played Serenade, got to market, which led to the top of river, and there's a hook shot uh, wow. at the top of river. So, Tom really picking up all of these out adult items really early on. And you really like seeing the hook shot early, because you don't know if anything's on skulls, and that just makes picking them up so much easier as well. Rio Island is checking more of the entrances in, in the CAC, and this is, wow, we've got the Desert Colossus, which is going to be another, <laughs> this is going to be a song, unless this Spirit Temple turns out to be an underwater entrance and you can't get back, which means you logically need a scale to, uh, <laughs> to get back here. And that could be, you know, potentially frustrating, although it's, uh, how likely is it? Not very. Ah, there we uh, go. So we've got our, our next song. And it's ZL. Wow. So Tom has a lot of adult items, but really picking up ZL. And I tell you what, there's going to be great fairy fountains popping up everywhere. And having ZL early is really good for that. And also, I, did I just see on uh, Tom's side, was that the long shot in, uh, in the... Uh, water Grotto. I've forgotten the name of it. Oh, the Tektite Grotto! Yes, yes! Oh um, my god! <laughs> I think it might have been. I'm not certain on that. I'll need to double check, see if anyone else in chat... Yeah, can. we'll wait until we see where Ryu um, gets it. And nice uh, one way there as uh, Tom uh, pops out in the Silver Boulder Grotto in Bruno Valley. And we'll be heading to Lake as the only way to go. We also found Jabu in the Boulder Grotto in um, River. Just FYI. Uh, this entrance is always Lake Hylia as well. As Ryu hits a generic grotto with a big chest, and it's the Iron Boots! <laughs> <laughs> so, if I, if I did see uh, the long shot uh, in the tech tight grotto then that's that's gonna be an important item those those iron boots will be very very important at that point okay 40 was hinted dead but we also received a hint on Ryu's side that said the silver boulder grotto in desert colossus is gtg as we find a newly named grotto this is the anton deck grotto um oh really <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's, is that understood outside of the UK? <laughs> no, no, it's not whatsoever, but I think it's funny because of that. <laughs> Just leave our uh, international viewers very confused. Hey, British takeover, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> right, uh, let's... We've had... Uh, Greer Valley is, is way of the hero. So, <laughs> Ryu came found ice. Ryu went a different way and got back to market via the other entrance, so this is a bit of yeah. a loop going on here, and now he's in Fortress. And that's one of the wonderful things in uh, in this game mode with all the entrances randomised, is that you can find yourself on like a wonderful path um, where you have to go through several different locations to get where you want to go, um, making the entire experience uh, charming, I guess, is the experience <laughs> I would use. I I like how charming is the way you want to describe that. That's, that's, 
I don't think uh, I've ever heard anybody call mixed pools charming before. <laughs> it's free scarecrow, by the way. <laughs> That's another uh, yes. uh, different setting that we've got because you know getting to lake as child and adult can be a pain in the backside. Ooh, and fishing is another scrubs grotto. So a bit of a, a respite as we pick up the winner heart piece. Nice. Tom's side. This is always a fun one, this GTG one, like if you need to pay 10 rupees to get into here all the time. But today, it'll be a one and done. That's the thing there. Just some cows hoarding a nut. <laughs> just some cows and their nuts. <laughs> I guess that's where they get their almond flavoured milk. Ah, that would make sense. Because almonds are well, this is when some of you guys well actually almonds are seeds. I don't I don't really know what what uh, the Deku nut actually is, in all honesty. I don't know if it's based off of like an actual nut or whether they've just made an entirely new variety. I don't know, it might be Deku tree genitalia for all we know. That's why it's so icky on the inside. Yeah, that would stun someone. A hundred percent. Oh, we've got fishing. We've got French vanilla fishing today. Nice. The salmon's just the uh, fishing guy was like, you know what? This place is too lonely when it's adult time. So I'm going to get in a much more accessible position. Have a nice TARDIS. Inside this tiny house is this massive pond. Okay, and let's see, so what's on the other side of the gate? Oh, Goron City. Goron City. Okay, this is a... What do we have? We have tubes, so... Oh, that was an interesting strat for Ryo to pick up that, um... Uh, that school there. Do using a, a jump slash to hang off the edge. That's interesting. I, the first few times I tried to get that uh, Sculptula token ended up with me being on the floor far more often than I would like to admit. Oh yeah, definitely. 100%. We've, we've actually found Kakiri Forest uh, on Tom's side, which also goes to Lost Woods, so we're going to get pretty lost whilst both check uh, and, uh, places with big density. And wow. Mido's moved house! Mido's moved house and hoarding the ice arrows. Oh, of course, he, he is a meme, so of course, hoarding um, meme items as we find titties! Titties, and uh, we also have a condom in the shop, so. Titties, condom, ice arrows. This is meme o'clock right now. <laughs> we also had a Hylian shield on the left hand side, which is uh, interesting. Pretty sure for all of those items, he probably needs a permit for a lot of these items that he's selling. <laughs> yeah! That's oh. so interesting. Wait, wait. Tom just entered Link's house, but Rio Kane went into Link's house. <laughs> what? That was, was the most Twilight Zone. <laughs> that is that is Twilight Zone high five. I'm calling it now. <laughs> that, <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> Mixed interdimensional. <laughs> interdimensional high five. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, more scrubs. This is the special. Scrub Grotto because the front scrub is on the left hand side. That's the scrub you actually get an item from in standard uh, Zuta. Alright, and uh, Ryu Kane, uh, without the long shot, um, getting across this to get to the Scrubs Grotto, I do believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Song of Time or Hook Shot and Goron Tunic is the logic for that. There's the cow, Moo. And another shot with another bottle. Ah, wallets refill as well, so that's a good wallet to find for Rio Kane. That's an amazing wallet. I'm surprised the shopkeeper didn't, you know, empty it first. Just yeah, to... like I will take the rupees out of this. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of money in here. I just best sell the sell the wallet as is, you know. I don't want any charges for <laughs> false advertising. <laughs> Jabu is foolish. So that's our second dungeon that's foolish. 
I mean, it's nice that it's, you know, a found dungeon that they don't need to go through, but it's also, like, one or two checks, really. It's it's not a high-density location. Although, with with Scrub Sanity, there is actually the Scrub's Grotto as well. Okay, we're going to get a med check here, so... Light is DC. Green is Shadow. Tom's doing it slowly. Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> he tricked us! <laughs> uh, it got me into a false sense of security. I was I like, know. I didn't take my like, time to pronounce If he did it really quickly, I would have been able to do it, but, like, I couldn't. <laughs> Dang him. Yeah, Shannon. Uh, DC and Shadow was also what we got. Uh, water, spirits, pocket, and last one? No idea. Uh, might be on Tom's own uh, tracker. Hello, Tobias G underscore ninety one. We're back at the start. We're at uh, Shadow Temple through the wrong way. And how did they get into here? I completely missed it. it was Some entrance check. in DMT. That's what I'm assuming. Right. Oh, and there's the um. Somebody predicted that that place would be accessible as child through some warp. Um, and they were correct. It's the child safe warp. Ah, I was going to mention that earlier, actually. It was, uh, I was interested to see if, um, we were going to be able to get into Goron City as child. Uh, so Tom's trying to broke stick here, but you can't... Oh, you can get it! I thought you couldn't get that. That's interesting. And we're kind as of usual, like... The, <laughs> the runner's showing us up. Yeah! <laughs> well, oh, no. Kid, kids go to prison, so. Yes. Some uh, some harsh laws here uh, <laughs> with the Grudos. He is a man child, so they don't like boys or men. Here's, Very uh, true. Tom finds his way to child market. And uh, Ryu Kane there uh, getting some rupees that I didn't even know know existed with the iron boots um, underneath uh, the waterfall before. Uh, Zora's Domain, there's a four or five red rupees. Oh, it must be four, because he's only got 95. Mm. So, what do we have? That looks like a bottle. That looks like a Poe bottle or a fairy bottle. Could it be... Could it be a large Poe? A big Poe? Oh, I think you're right. It's yellow inside. Mmm. Nice. It's the boys! Here come the boys. Uh, well, it looks like Ryu Kane has uh, just accepted his fate and that he's going to die here. Yeah, there's no way you survived in that. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you have any uh, bingo cards running, uh, death by uh, timer running out. Oh, oh, nice recovery. Man, nice. Unfortunately, no reward for it, but... Still, it's it's pretty sick to pull off, so... Mm -hmm. You know, if he'd, if he'd just done it, you know, perfectly the first time, you know, you wouldn't think much of it, but it was when you miss one and you manage to recover, that's when true skill shows. It's always with a, it's way of the hero, um, and I'm assuming it's for that long shot that's in there, because we need to do water. So inter interestingly enough, these entrances aren't uh, shuffled that Tom's going through because it would be impossible to get that check. Yeah, yeah. If only you could have Richard following you through the entire game. It would oh be fun. my! Just imagine that you have to have Richard always following you, or yeah. like. Richard just like, you don't lose him, he's just always there. Like, you're beating Phantom Ganon, and Richard's just like chilling. <laughs> like, <laughs> what up? Where's my mom? <laughs> occasionally, occasionally barking at Phantom Ganon for coming out of picture. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the classic RSL meme of Talon being in a night only location, so it happens way too often. It was a good thing that they started with that sun song. Otherwise, this uh, check would be quite a while away, and I imagine they wouldn't Difficult come back. To get. Not for a long <laughs> time, anyway. 
Ryu. Oh, Water Temple is foolish. So we have three uh, foolish dungeons as Ryu gets more choose. So we've got Fire, Water, and Jabu as our three foolish locations. So three dungeons today. And I'm not going to complain that w with Water being foolish. I'm quite happy with that. They're going to be Although... loving that Water and Fire are foolish. <laughs> Uh, especially since they've just picked up, you know, Iron Boots and a Tunic, mm. Zora's Tunic. They're fully equipped for the Water Temple, which is foolish, of yeah. course. Ryu ended up back in SFM, which is one of our early locations, through the one of the Storms Grottos. So that's one less Storms Grotto to check. And Ryu finds a vanilla Wolfos Grotto. Nice. Nicely done. Is this even randomized? Yeah, Dark something Dark something because this random. <laughs> <laughs> but like having a vanilla location, like I forget how many locations it is that is shuffled, but it's over a hundred. So a vanilla location is like over one in a hundred to get. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite impressive when it happens, even if it doesn't feel like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ryu back in Lon Lon Ranch will eventually get him back to Kakariko Village. Um, we have seen these river plays uh, from Ryu, but not actually picking up beans. Uh, yeah, beans uh, could be quite important here, so... Mm, and Tom's actually not going up to check the grottos at the top, which requires the... Oh, or maybe he is? Um, I don't know what he's going to Not entirely sure what that was. I'm trying to find some form of item that I'm not sure what it was. Uh, maybe there's a chance of like more rupees dropping there? Um, I don't know. Oh, maybe he's after 20 because he knows fishing is coming up because he knows that this is. Oh, of uh, course. Like yeah, he knows this is like Hylia and he knows that the. Um, the lab is fishing. Uh, yeah. Fishing, yeah, makes sense. So it probably will just take the opportunity to farm some grass here and pick up 20, as if you want a sense of normality coming up, then, well, I say normality, but it looks like Ryu is doing the chew strap for <laughs> DC. <laughs> <laughs> just deciding, yeah, I just want to, I just want to skip the dungeon, go through, defeat the boss. Well, actually, no, that's not necessarily what he's doing, because, uh, he's... He doesn't have normal bombs to open them. Yeah, maybe just thinking it's the best way for him to, to do that. Uh, 50's dead, by the way. Oh! DC is actually a massively abundant location because the scrubs are on, so these oh, yes. there's four more checks in DC. And Hydrophobic Walrus, 25, 17 months subscribed. Holy moly. And Thanks with a 14 call. month streak. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. So we know DC is a stone. Right. Um, we've got... No, it, yeah, it's a, sorry, it's a medallion. It's, a, it's the light medallion. My bad. Oh yeah, of course, of course. I'm, I'm sitting here agreeing without thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm wrong too often for you to just do that. <laughs> <laughs> and just uh, peeking in at the chest. Thankfully it is... Um, uh, chest uh, texture means content so mm -hmm. uh, we can we can do a lot of checking to just double check that we're not wasting too much time on each one mm -hmm. so thankfully if anything else is on sculptulas having the boomerang and the hook shot means that they'll be able to pick them up no problem yeah I mean the maximum we're gonna need today is 30 so even if it was 50 required, we had the hook shot, we've got the boomerang, it would have been... Uh, and we've got a bottle as well, so 
It would have been a, an okay 50 to get today, but... Hey ho! We don't need them today. No pushing armor statues for, uh... Well, it's, it's free Scarecrow, so... Um, we wouldn't even need to do double Armos push, hashtag, or exclamation point, blame Ginger. <laughs> Unless, of course, uh, the hookshot happened to be on 50. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We might need to be pushing some Armos. But, I mean, no seed could be that painful, could it? <laughs> I'm not even going to answer that question. <laughs> I know, I'm, I think know. I'm... Oh, the bomb bag! Interesting. Okay. So, we had a load of shoes, but finally the bomb bag is, yeah, chill. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they did have a bun an abundance of uh, bomb shoes, which was nice. But you still, until you get that bomb bag, you mm -hmm. never know. You don't want to be left without a bomb for that crucial one check. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, bomb shoe bowler needs them as well, so... Oh, big chest in DC! Excellent. And it's a scale. And it's a scale, which, uh, I mean, is useful for one check. Uh, it's really good for the underwater entrances, so oh, lake, lake to domain, uh, river to uh, lost woods. Really, really handy for those, so less likely to be uh, one way with that. And Ryu King getting, spending that money and. Uh, just save quitting out. So it feels like we've seen quite a lot already. Um, we found quite a lot of our more difficult locations to find. And we already know where Day Market is, uh, Day Market, Child Market, CAC, Adult CAC. Um, we know where um, Eerie Forest is. Graveyard, SFM, you know, all those kind of fun locations we have access to already. Kind of big ones we don't have this far. DMC, I don't think we've seen DMC. We haven't seen Castle Grounds, with it being open bridge as well, is quite um, nice to get to early because lots and lots of checks, especially with scrubs being on. The four scrubs there are also on. Yeah, you need to be on the platform, Tom. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they force you to be on center stage. They they don't accept anything less. Yeah. <laughs> They're quite quite prissy these guys. Uh, so we're gonna see some really fun strats uh, from Rio Kane here. Yeah, trying to do it with shoes today. Um, doesn't have a strength. Oh, gonna miss up the... Uh, for people who haven't seen this before, as Tom picks up a piece of heart, you um, store a ground jump when King Dodongo comes and bonks onto this wall over here, um, which allows you to get some vertical height. Um, and if you time it, I don't know, I think it's like four frames, maybe fewer, uh, you can drop a bomb shoot into his mouth, but it's really quite precise, it's really quite difficult. Normally, I prefer to try and do the backflip strat. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd say try. <laughs> yeah, the backflip strat doesn't require uh, the ground, doesn't it? Big Goron's dead. I think we knew that one. Yeah, it's uh, you kind of stand in the middle, you pull out a bomb to mid backflip. Oh, there we go. That's one. Ah, there we go. Nice. Um, Tom just picked up magic from, I think that was the Nig GC uh, Grotto there. Yeah, so it was, uh, it was the, it, I think it was actually the entrance to, uh, Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. City. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there we have it. Ryu came managing to get that, that second hit in. And we see exactly why this is the hardest boss in the game. Undoubtedly. And there he goes, into the lava. <laughs> <laughs> I think... I know, like, Pi would say otherwise, but I don't think I've ever died to King Dodongo. Uh, I will, I will own up and fess up. I, I did die once while I was trying to do some, trying to do some strats and not, 
not proud of it, but, you know, when you have three hearts and you've used all of them in getting hit by fire keys. Yeah, <laughs> when it happens, you know, it happens. Um, quick thing to note is that Tom has gone into three Great Fairy Fountains and um, hasn't got ZL, so missing those three checks, whereas Ryu has um, ZL and would be able to get them uh, straight away. And the Ghost Merchant, not happy that he threw the, the big Poe up into the air. Yeah, but yeah. He's slightly closer. Uh, I present you with a big Poe. No, oh, come closer, my dear. I can yeah. see it. Please, <laughs> yeah. please place it against my face. Thank you. I have, I have no eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we found Baron Fire Temple. Nice. Don't ask me where it was. I can't remember. I wasn't watching. I, I've, no, it's, I, I'm still finding it pretty difficult to, <laughs> to keep track. I, um, I do just remember it was um, it was Cat uh, Redead Grotto. That, that's what it is. Um, but you may not know this is foolish because he's gone straight in there. Okay, so where's the owl take us to Kakiri Forest? Mm hmm. So yeah, as you were saying earlier, with the uh, not having Zelda's lullaby, is it is very frustrating trying to remember exactly where all of those fairy fountains are. Mm -hmm. um, if you need to go back, you need to remember exactly where they all were, and that's, you know, just extra stuff that you need to remember on top of everything else. Yeah, where, and you, you just like leave them, like, it's just like, oh, I might as well go and pick up that great fairy fountain as I walk past it, and you just forget, and it's just, it could be painful. Uh, King Samson asking, uh, is that four dungeons in Kek? Uh, very possibly. Uh. Yeah, it's uh, it's DC, it is uh, Fire, it is Shadow, and it is... Was it Spirit? Question mark? Yes, it and passed. No, Spirit was in DMT Car no, Spirit, Grotto. yes. Oh, for it. Oh, yeah, Skull House. I can see. Yeah, I can read. <laughs> Janaka's doing all this tracking, and <laughs> like, I just need to open my eyes and read it, and I can give you the information. DC Fire Shadow Forest. Oh, uh, we did see ice. Um, that might have been in Kakariko as well. Yeah, it was in the. I think that was. Ice was the Skull House, wasn't it? Maybe it was back to DMT. We'll see it again. Yeah, it'll come up. If they need to go back to it, they'll go <laughs> back to it. <laughs> I mean, I still has a song in these settings, so it's it's often cleared. I'm just being reminded that Water Temple is, in fact, foolish. Yeah, Tom has... Um, Gone back to adult now, without picking up Proponas or the SFM song as child. So I wonder what the in the decision was to go back to adult. Hmm. Oh, there was ice. Again, I wasn't looking. <laughs> I think, mate. It no, was, I missed it. <laughs> I think I think it was Granny Potion Shop. I think it was Granny Potion Shop. I'll have to take your word on that because I genuinely can't remember it. I did not see it. <laughs> <laughs> Back of potion. Oh, back of potion, not granny potion. Okay, I was, uh, I was ninety percent correct, and I was uh, thirty-three percent correct with the words that I used as well. So there we go. <laughs> uh, calculations on top of this is is doing doing things to my head that I am uh, <laughs> struggling to comprehend. I'll just assume it's correct. <laughs> well. Rio came will give us some normality with with ice, so a nice uh, chilled stroll through ice, you could say. Ooh, yeah. Well, I'd hope it to be chilly with the uh, weather that we're gonna get over the next few days. It we're has been very very hot, incredibly warm, uh, which is not usual for the UK at all. I think it might hit. Over 10 degrees in Scotland this week. I know, that's insane. We're, we're not <laughs> happy about it. 
Uh, if you've ever met a Scots person, they're unhappy about everything. Uh, <laughs> it's it's incredible. <laughs> I think the Simpsons got it very right when they had the joke of uh, 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 or, um, what's his name, Groundskeeper Willie. Saying, oh yeah. You know, everyone ruined Scotland. The English, they ruined Scotland. The Irish, they ruined Scotland. And the Scots, they ruined Scotland. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. But uh, I think every Scot that I've met in my life has been lovely. So anything that I say is in good faith. I wouldn't have doubted it. Not for a second. I, it's not actually cold in Scotland right now, but... No, not at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's about to be on Friday in England, it's going to get 30 degrees Celsius, which is, and this is correct, 189 degrees Fahrenheit. 189? Yeah. No, I made that up. Yeah, I, <laughs> like, I'm not used to them going, like, beyond 90 or something. It might be over 100, it might not be. <laughs> Oh, and Ryu Kane, uh, just not quite getting that uh, uh, bombless jump. Uh, there we go, there we go. Yeah, these strats look so cool when you can pull them off. Feel is like in the high 90s where I'm living. Okay, so is that would that be relatively warm, Scorpio? <laughs> Again, uh, we we Brits know nothing of the uh, of the Fahrenheit system. As I'll 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 tell you that it's three hundred and fifty six Kelvin. That's even less helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Just shy of 40? Oh wow, so 30 degrees is nowhere near 100 degrees, then it's more like yeah. 10. <laughs> oh no, I've, I've been in 40 degrees like once when I was in Vegas and, you know, people have like ice buckets for their phones so they don't explode in the car. Oh you know? wow. It's uh... That's pretty outrageous. Something else. And we just get a little bit annoyed when it's like... <laughs> Some vile heat. And t-shirt weather? How dare it be t-shirt weather? 20 degrees Celsius, jeez. It's getting ridiculous these days. And then it gets to win uh, winter and everyone's like, I wish it would just be warm, you know, like... We're like... I, I swear, 95% of all British conversation is about weather. I was literally uh, about to say, like, why is it not shocking as Ryu finds Prelude, which he's going to play straight away? It's not shocking that we're talking about the weather. <laughs> Warp to Gerudo Valley. Valley. Is that going to be... Oh, this looks like it's um, Din's in a shop. One wallet locked. This looks like it's the other side of the bridge. Yeah, so... Oh, wow. oh. Din's fire in the Storm's Grotto of Gerida Valley, which... And here is the Royal Temple's tomb, so this but is another factor about... Magic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. So he's not going to be able to get the check here, but another interesting quirk of uh, mixed pools compared to standard is that this would normally um, be a ZL locked song, but of course it could just be in any place, so here today it's not ZL locked. Yeah, instead it's uh, Prelude of Light locked, which is yeah. <laughs> Ice Cavern locked, which is uh, Kakariko locked. <laughs> I was about to say, if this is horse, that could be really fun for logic, but it's not, it's Nocturne, and Ryu's actually going to play uh, Nocturne straight away as well. Yeah, I th have we seen all the entrance checks in, in Valley? Like, I think no, we, we've not the seen the fortress two. check yet. Yeah, I was about to say, to, to Fortress is something we need to check as well. Mm -hmm. Ryu going to save about 10 seconds by playing, playing Preludes instead of walking out. The shopkeeper must get a bit confused when light keeps like appearing in his shop and a person just walks out of it. <laughs> yeah, what? 
I it's thought I was cute. underground. <laughs> <laughs> He's, yeah, he hasn't quite figured out how marketing works, you know. Like, yeah. here, come to my shop. It's, it's underground uh, and by a broken bridge. He's not doing very well. And you need a magical ocarina that only one person has to uh, unlock it with a very specific song. So, you know, he's... You know, he'll he'll get there. <laughs> cool. Not much in Ellison Valley. Uh, yeah. Other than the Deku Theatre, so... We have school masks, we can check that at some point, but we're going to do the rest of these checks using shoes and by jumping. So that'll be him picking up his uh, first bomb bag, which will be nice, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. He'll be grateful for that one. So a lot of the items that are used for like traversing and like checks, they've they've been pretty lucky to get like hook shot and, and their bombs to like open up all the different grottos, so... Mm. There shouldn't be too much backtracking. Yeah, uh, got a scale, got an iron boot, it's got the hook shot, got kind of all the nice things that you'd want to get early on in a mixed pool C, to be fair. Got a bomb bag, Ryu's just about to pick that up now from Yar. And a wallet. Ryu's got the wallet as well that um, was in the Gerudo. Uh, that. Uh, Goron City uh, Lava Grotto. That yes. uh, Tom's not been there yet. You couldn't see it, but I had to look up to double check my own notes in my head to try and remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, one, two, different location. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, yep, yeah, got it. <laughs> so the start of these seeds are really chaotic as you go through, every entrance is new, like, you don't know where anything is, just trying to generate, like, a good map of, like, okay, is, how quick is it to get to Cap? How can I get to this place? How can I get to this place? Normally it takes about the first hour, and then you've seen the vast majority of locations. Um, as we have done here, we're kind of backtracking through a lot of places that we've seen. And then it's just find the items, like any standard seed, find the items, do the dungeons, get the medallions, and, and go from there. Yeah, but it's mainly trying to find those those paths, and I think the the you know the more experienced the runner, the better they'll be able to like craft those paths that let them get from one place to another quicker and quicker. Um, and that's like where a lot of the real skill comes in here. Mm, of, like, yeah. Like, that's where the, the best runners will make the biggest difference. Making sure that you have a good understanding of the world, you've got, like, the warp songs there to help you out. Uh, Jabu's Foolish, where was the hint? Um, good Don't question. Uh, <laughs> Don't know, but I've definitely seen that. I think it was um, SFM? Actually, I think it was the top SFM hint. You know what? Yeah, uh, I'm just going to say that's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, uh, I'm sorry, my brain cannot process this this fast enough. <laughs> yeah, hints down locations and entrances and everything. It's uh, You can see why this is... um. <laughs> yeah, realizing I could say anything, and then like everyone would just be like, "Yep, okay, okay, okay." Tom now has the out. Uh, as we're back to see Anton Deck again on their Saturday night takeaway. Yeah. Hopefully, one of them isn't too drunk driving around, <laughs> and the other one isn't. I don't. Know. I can't. I can't even think of another quality of Deck other than he's small. <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh, I'm just I'm just laughing because we're probably very confusing to a lot of our viewers at the moment. <laughs> well, when it was me and Ginger one time, we spent most of the sea talking about Big Break. So, um, oh, Hyrule Field! I don't think have we seen Hyrule Field yet? I don't think we have. Tom is not oh, interested. No, we though. haven't. I think we got to so. So Tom's going through the entrance that we've already seen for 
to get through here, which was a Kakariko entrance. But I think he came through... Um... Uh, through... Oh my. Uh... Through Lake, if I'm not mistaken. And picking up those iron boots, that's nice. Now we're about to see Ryu King going and uh, finding uh, what's up by fishing. This was just three scrubs, if I remember correctly. You did? Uh, I... Ocarina of Time is the Bellera of Fire. So, Ocarina is a warp song. Um, we had, before like uh, the tournament was announced, we actually had... Um, a mixed pool seed. I can't remember who played it. It was definitely me and what the hell has happened were on it. That the Ocarina of Time song was the only adult access to uh, OGC, uh, to Ganon's uh, Castle Grounds. So you oh, had wow. to do AD to, for a warp song access to Castle Grounds. Well, that's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we still haven't found it yet, have we, Castle Grounds, so... No, that's one of the, the big ones, the big hairs. That and DMC are, I think, the two big ones, because DMC has um, a warp song. And in terms of dungeons, we haven't found Deku, we haven't found Water, uh, and we haven't seen Bottom of the Well. There's still quite a few entrances to go through and find. Um... We saw that Hyrule field, Hy eh, Hyrule field, which has quite a few different entrances on it, but they're so far apart. Mm. You kind of desperately want a bonus song just to find them, like, to get to all of them. That is true, yeah. And I don't know, like, whether Rob might want to confirm this is a strategy, but I've seen a couple of people kind of avoid Hyrule field because you're likely to go in and out of all the Hyrule field entrances at some point because there's just so much there. Um, so I think maybe explore the lower entrance areas rather than and avoid like the higher entrance areas because you'll probably get back there at some point. I don't know, like I don't know if that's an actual idea that could be used. Was that bottom of the well is way of the hero? I missed it unfortunately. I was watching field, which I shouldn't have been doing. <laughs> I, think, I think it was somebody else in chat might want to confirm. Oh, there's bottom of the there's well. Bottom of the well in. Oh, it's DMT what? It was DMT what? Not um, bottom of the well. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um. Silzer saying that you want to wait for a bomb bag or hammer not to double dip, which makes sense. Yeah, makes sense, yeah. Here's uh, one of the places I said we haven't been to yet, and there's your opponent song. Oh, we, um, we actually did come to DMC, but it was the Fire Temple entrance, yes. and Tom got stuck there. <laughs> which does mean that the Goron tunic can be actually relatively helpful for something. Mm, you know. Yeah, the you do. De Goron Tunic is good for just DMC and Fire Temple like normal, but it's also um, could be the only way you can get the Lava Grotto in Goron City. So um, there is that additional thing there as well. Yeah. So so to get Hyrule Field, you, I'm just double checking. You can you can get through there as a child to get here. Mm -hmm. um, can you make the jump across as child? Yeah, you can. It's it's in logic. Um, okay. You can just jump and, and hang on the edge, but sometimes you get nailed by... There's the Jabu's Aaron, by the way, in Kiri Forest. Ah, uh, nice. Um, you can make it with a jump, but also, if you do a Deku stick jump slash, you, you, may, you clear it with room to spare as well, so that's how I normally do it. Oh, that's good to know. Um, if you're if you're in the chat and you're um, wondering what we're talking about, because you know during these races you've never seen a runner go into uh, you know a, a grotto with a scrub in it for uh, Death Mountain Crater. Well, uh, there is a specific 
uh, crater hole that only appears as child in DMC, um, which normally isn't too important, but it could have, for example, the light arrows uh, in this seed because of the scrub shuffle. So, yeah. Um, important to note that when we're trying to figure out why it would be important for child to get um, near that entrance is, is specifically because of that. Mm -hmm. Just found Dampe's grave there. Sometimes that can give us logical access to the windmill, but we have already seen. We saw the windmill really early on. Mm -hmm. it was Were just... you with a big chest here that has magic? Okay, so I'm just uh, yeah. doing that really. Yeah, they were they were they were going through the um, Lost Woods check. So yeah, it was uh, um, just the uh, entrance to Goron City from Lost Woods. Ooh, we haven't seen this yet. I don't think. Oh, it's just a grotto. Oh, Lake is way over here, right? That was uh, a generic grotto in. Um... In Lost Woods. So, Lake. What have we found in Lake so far? Um, nothing. So far, Fishing nothing. hasn't given us anything. The scrubs didn't give us anything. The grave was a fairy fountain, I want to say. It wasn't a fairy fountain because it took us to... Spirit Temple, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh... Sorry, just reading chat as well. Yeah, I think I'm being corrected that the, the jump actually isn't in logic, but child needs to have access to both top and bottom, which sounds rude. Hmm. Apparently there was a scale in Lake, which I can believe. Um, Wait, does this jump get you to Hyrule Field? No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, never tried that before, so... Yeah, I wasn't sure either. It was, uh, not sure what the rules were. Rio with a convenient... 200 rupees there, as I think they went down to zero in the scrub grotto. <laughs> oh, the scrub is in logic from both sides, but only top is guaranteed. There we go. Cool. Because of the skull that's in the crate. Yeah. Excellent. So, the opponent jump from Lon Lon, I think... It was, yeah, it is technically its own entrance. I think it just took you to where the standard entrance leads you to. Where the Lon Lon Ranch to Hyrule Field entrance takes you. If that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, the, the, song, the science song is random. It's not always Sun Song, it's, uh, it's randomised. Oh, and now we have Ryu King going the other way through, <laughs> through, uh, yeah. Mountain Crater. And getting the Dampe again, which we know this is, I think. Oh, here's At the least... Temple of Time in front. Mercy is dead. Big is dead. We know that already. Valley is Waff. I think we know that. Oh, Valley is Waff again. So Valley is double Waff. Valley is double Waff. Interesting. Uh, we found a bomb bag. We also found Din's fire in there as well. Oh, of course, yeah. So maybe Din's is needed for shadow completion because that um, wooden wall is only in logic with Din's fire. Ah, right, of course. And I think we were doing some. We were talking about the maths of that in one of my streams the other day, and we seem to think that it's about fifty percent chance that you need Din's to complete shadow. Because uh, it could be a small key, or a boss key, or just like a required item. Right. The Song of Composer's Grave was Nocturne. 
Uh, Noct Noctan takes us to market. Not seen uh, where in market. Okay. Was it was it the back of Grudel Valley that Nocturne took us to? The, the it was. Uh, the, the uh, no, that was Prelude. Prelude took us to Grudel Valley. Okay, yeah, yeah, very possibly. Oh, and we found our our uh, our, our water temple. Water temple. So that was the near Kakariko Grotto in Hyrule Field. For a, for a nice barren water temple. Uh, we also found domain, um, which may or may not need at some point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rears and Shadow, two checks can be done yeah, without the hover boots. More fairy fountains. Yeah, I guess if you're if you're passing by um you know Kakariko Village and you can just pop into Shadow Temple wherever you whenever you like, it's it's nice to pick up these items just in case they are something. We have seen back alley, but I don't think anything there was of interest. Oh, it was Talon, you're right. Yeah, it's uh, Talon, which then you had to sun song because he was sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's Greg. Oh, Greg. We're doing pretty good for me for saying we got winner, ice arrows, Gurg. Um, and Condom, we, we saw Condom, yeah. Uh, and I think we did see the Stone of Agony as well. It did. Come oh, did up. we? I did yes. unlock the Stone of Agony. So we're winners. I just vaguely remember it spinning. I have no idea where it was. <laughs> turn, turn the ream stream off. We're done. We're finished. We got meme yeah. percent. Thanks, runners. Yeah. Bye. No one message the runners. Just let them know. We'll be back soon. See you later, everyone. Bye bye. <laughs> and that's it. He's off. He's done. Um, and so we saw the Tech Tech Grot always the Sculptula House, which is uh, always nice to see. Oh, I'm sorry. I've just been told that the the race isn't over, and I have to come back. Oh, did you get scolded? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, I need to get the stream back up, but it's... <laughs> it's okay. We're all professionals here. <laughs> we promise. Oh, there's um, Tom's buying the. Uh, Finally, I... picking up that uh, that wallet, that that wallet of free money. All right. And Ryu Kane picking up his bow and uh, DMT, which would explain why Death Mountain Trail uh, was way of the hero. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Of course. Get back on the horse. And uh, Ryu Kane doing this trick, which is you take off your boots as you're going across with the hook shot, and it will count. Um, it will count as if you dived. I'm not sure why that is, but it just does. <laughs> Tom got a big poem and can, like was like, "Wait, I need to get a big poem," but you don't need to get a big poem. You got it hinted. It was it was hinted, and I do believe he has definitely seen it now, because mm -hmm. uh, it was. Outside the Temple, temple of time. time. Yeah. Some more free money at least. Well, actually, it's not free. Technically. <laughs> oh, so Bear saying. I think we haven't seen the domain entrance yet as child. 
in late. No. I that's the only thing we haven't seen yet. That is that is the one we haven't seen, and we I don't think anyone shot the sun yet. Oh yeah, shoot the sun. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> but apart from that, all the other checks are now done. Oh yeah, we have two scales. Oh, I get what they're saying now. Yeah, because the gold scale um, is only logical for that check and the tectoid crosser check. Yes. I get it now. It makes sense to <laughs> me. It's always nice when that finally happens and it finally clicks. Although you do yeah. feel a little bad for not getting it before. <laughs> Maybe one day I will get it in the middle of a seed I'm playing and I'll actually do well. Uh, now we can dream. Like, yeah. <laughs> as commentators, we're, we're nowhere near as efficient as the people we commentate on. <laughs> I, uh, my first game was against Goomba in this. Goomba finished the seed. Guess how many medallions I had by the time Goomba finished? Uh, two. I had one. I had one medallion. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I was close, you know. Uh, <laughs> you weren't, but that's a different story. Nope. No. <laughs> I, was about, I was a good hour plus behind, so that's fine. Did I start with it? No, it was actually a stone we started with, so yes. <laughs> I was, no, but it was, I, I did only get my medallion about 30 minutes before Goomba finished as well, and the whole seed was like, if I finish the seed with zero medallions, I might actually cry. I can imagine how that must have felt. Um, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't done any of official races myself yet, but I just know that the number of times I've, I've opened up a seed and there's been that one place I don't check, and it's always been the thing I need, and I wander around for two hours wondering why I can't finish the seed. Uh, that happens to me far too often. Yeah. yeah, it always seems to be a last location. For me, it used to be the Zora's River Grotto. I just kept forgetting. Oh, wow, it. really? That's an interesting yeah. one to forget. And I think it was two seeds back to back where it had something important that I forgot it. Just. Um, amazingly played, is what I would say. <laughs> oh, there was a match recently. An S5 match? Somebody forgot that. Someone might need to enlighten me with uh, that one. Yes, I think it was a... Um, did I track that match? I can't remember. I do remember the match, though. I cannot mm. remember the details right now. Oh, we're kind of um, repeating back on ourselves. It looks like Tom's going to do Ice, we've already seen. The song at the end of this is Nocturne. Um, and Ryu is currently picking up some cocks, uh, <laughs> making Talon proud. Oh, she's like, oh, you're right. It was RSL and it was... Was it Timmy versus Ryu? Was it that match? And Timmy forgot that uh, river grotto chest. That was it. And we've got Ryu on restream now. So it all yeah. comes full circle. All comes back round again. Um. So I'm just I'm just trying to think of all the like locations that we still need to find. And the major one that we haven't seen is is obviously the castle courtyard. Yeah. Um. But we found practically everything else. Yeah, Deku is uh, AWOL at the moment as well. Deku. Um, I'm trying to think of other kind of fun. Like, we've, we've seen Domain, but not done anything in Domain. We, were we hinted as to where GTG was? Yes, GTG was a sometimes hint, and it was hinted under the... Um, a silver boulder in Colossus. Actually, like, That's, yeah. talk about locations we haven't seen, items we haven't seen, no strength yet out yep, of the three that are in the seed. No Hummer, no shield, there's the bonk, no lens of proof. Um, so and a couple of things we haven't seen. Ryu Kane picking up the Stone of Agony, which was in Mask Shop. Yeah. 
which I definitely knew all along and just withheld until this point for uh, reasons. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, perfectly tracked. Uh, Yo, Carla, uh, bit of an overview. Everything, like all the locations, uh, all the important locations are pretty much found. Castle Grounds is the only big one that we're kind of missing at the moment. Uh, they're both currently going through things that we've seen. Ryu, which is a bit of clear up. Uh, Tom going through Ice, which has a, a warp song uh, at the end of it. Um, both have done DC. Still missing Deku. Still missing some items to do any of the other dungeons that we need. So yeah, it's been it's been pretty cool. Um, I think the one thing that I'm a little bit surprised we haven't seen yet is Child Spirit. I think that's. Yeah. Uh, I don't know we what have... our access to DMT is like as Child, but we have found Spirit Baby Shark. Yeah. Yeah, that was Calgary in DMT. And yeah, as we were saying about items, we've not found any strength yet, which is kind of an important one. Um, and we have yeah. three um, Baron dungeons as well, which would be uh, Water, Fire, and Jabu. Yeah, three Baron dungeons today is, um, is pretty neat. Is always nice to uh, not have to traverse into Jabu Jabu or the Water Temple. These things I appreciate. Or Deep Fire as well. Mm. Oh, there's a Skull Mask at the second magic. So it looks like that's not magic lock, so magic isn't where the hero. Which is unfortunate to find out once you've already got magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, three Baron Dungeons. That was what I was going to comment on before. Right? We've got um, three three Baron Dungeons. Received really early on, which was quite fun. And uh, Shadow isn't um, Nocturne Lock. It is the uh, spawn location of Adult. Mm, yeah, our spawn location as Adult is the Nocturne Warp Pad, which we thought was pretty cool. Uh, Ocarina of Time is Bolero, we do know that. I will update the sheet. Yeah. It was in a grotto somewhere, I can't remember. And uh, Tom being re relatively rude to that wolf, uh, just the wolf starts howling, hits him, kills him immediately before he even gets a chance to fight. I just think that's Thrashing a bit unfair. It to pieces! I don't know, um. Cut my wolf into pieces. It is his last resort. Uh, we do have some other new uh, commands, but looks like they're not set up yet, but hopefully we'll get those soon. And Tom doing those wonderful uh, glitchless set uh, setups to pick up the blue fire just in case uh, the Weep King has anything. <laughs> uh, yes, Lady Draco, you <laughs> uh, did identify the, uh, the, the uh, <laughs> my terrible choices. Oh, you were you were doing something? I completely was not paying attention. Yes, that was the. Uh, I was doing a uh, uh, cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's the mirror shield. Um, was it Lincoln Park? Oh. I'm actually not sure if it's Lincoln Park. I... Is it Limp Biscuit? Uh -huh. Oh, we have our first strength. Okay. Wait. Go on. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, I was just gonna say, which I think is actually kind of bad for Ryu Kane, because it's it's not gonna be for like. A while that Ryu Kane decides to go back into. Oh the yeah, history. because he's done this as as adult. Yeah, and he picked up Din's fire without magic just before uh. this check. So, like, this seems like the perfect setup for someone that would, uh, like, for me as an, an experienced runner of this settings, I would a hundred percent forget that because mm -hmm. I would just mentally check off my. 
my list, thinking, ah, yes, I had Din's Fire when I went into the Composer's Grave. It was like right after each other, and that's it. I would just forget from that point. So, uh, we'll, s we'll see if uh, he remembers. Yeah, depending on the, the difficulty and, and ease of getting there is... What was it? It was Composer's Grave, wasn't it? So, yeah. uh, was that... was Is it in Valley? Is it... Uh, yes, it's like just around the corner. So you, you teleport it to uh, with Prelude to the shop, and yeah. then you come out and in the Carpenter's Tent. Okay, yeah. so it is easy to get to, at least. So that decreases the likelihood of it being left because it is just a, a single warp song to get but yeah you, you're you're only picking up when you're doing you kind of convenient clear up. but um valley is also um double way of the hero we should remember as well so um True. and actually we've now picked up four different things from valley we've got bomb bag from the back of the uh waterfall din's fire uh from the shop we got Nocturne uh, from the song in Composer's Grave and Strength, so probably isn't going to be uh, a last location. Yeah, probably not, but again, it is it's definitely something that could be. Um, and we see Ryu Kane uh, going back through uh, the very interesting uh, French Vanilla Lost Woods. Which mm -hmm. is just hidden in people's houses while Tom is going around. <laughs> There's just a oh. hole in one of the houses and they just lost woods. And uh, Tom is going through the the gate, um, which was. Uh, it's a child location, uh, an important location to get to as a child. I remember if I remember correctly. How much money are you going to bet on that? Uh, I am dirt poor, so one pence. <laughs> it's Goron City. Okay. Goron City. That was it. Yes. Yeah. We need to get her as child. There are checks here. There are. Yeah, I don't remember there being. I can't remember if there was any kind of um, other locations from here, or this is just a dead end. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to mentally go through all the different look uh, entrances, and I don't remember. <laughs> it's, yeah. the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the short answer. <laughs> Dang. You know, commentators, we don't pay attention in normal seeds, let alone paying attention in these seeds. Like, <laughs> we're gonna be, we're gonna be lost. But we're gonna get lost together. That's that's what it's all about. That's what makes yeah, it all about. Our, our, our job isn't to you know help you not get lost. It's to just make you feel less bad about feeling lost. That's yeah. the one. That is the one. That's exactly what it is. It's we're just here so we have fun. We're here to have fun. Yeah, Mel's right. Exactly. Just pay attention and then forget immediately. That's exactly what it's all about. <laughs> boing boing. The current time is fifteen twenty nine. Well, that's actually incorrect, so... Oh, well, disqualified. It's 2021, actually. Come on. We'll have to, uh... we'll that was, that's a hint for school must be in a magic meter. Oh, nice. Um, which, I think, Ryukane had been in Goron City, so he probably would have seen that. So it's just odd that I've missed it. <laughs> oh, August has just pointed out that this entrance here is again to the Shadow Temple, and um, Tom does have Dins and Magic, so not too much of a bad thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, fun in trail. your zoo to Dasa, yeah. How dare we? How dare we? <laughs> There will be no fun. <laughs> Where is the other side of Graveyard Take You? Oh, that was one of the first entrances we looked at. I think it was SFM. Right, okay. Just I'm sitting here thinking uh, the damn paycheck as child. Like, 
what's the way? Is that is that just going through uh, spawn to Goron City to uh, back of graveyard? Is the way to do it. Oh, Rob Dog, good point. That free was there, but it's the the tent, so you need to be able to get in there as child. So for those um, who, are, who are unaware, the the um, the tent doesn't exist as child uh, on that side of Gorilla Valley. But the actual, um, I don't know what you call it, hitbox to enter the tent does exist. So if you enter where the hitbox is for the tent, then you enter the tent. That makes sense? Yes, it does make sense. I followed it. Yeah, <laughs> so I know there's a setup for it, but I don't... That's one of the things I need to know. Oh, Cola's going to tell me. Uh, you just backflip at the crate and side hop left. Easy! So, I've learned something new today. Thank you, thank you. Simply done. Ghost Tent, yes. In the same way that you can access Jabu Jabu as uh, Adult Link by hitting the entrance hitbox. I think that is a glitch, though. That, yeah, that is a glitch and not meant to be used. Uh, mm -hmm. Certainly would, I think, would disqualify you. <laughs> Pretty certain. Uh, I don't know what tech it involves. Whether it is just like it uses, does it use a damage boost? Maybe it's a clay. <laughs> you have to be a little careful not to get caught if it's the day. Oh, if it's day. Oh, sorry, I thought. Oh I yeah, the Garuda the Valley. The race. Yeah, or you have um, Garuda card, and they don't spot you. Which is handy. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, so Tom's gonna quickly do this as child now. So these are new checks. Yeah, brand brand new. We can get dancing dad. No, we, we don't have Saria's song, do we? No. Sad, sad times. So no dancing Goron today. Well, not now anyway. Oh, oh no, that looked like a bloopy down there. Not a. No, we thought that might be a hook shot, but it looks like it was just a bloop. Yep, just uh, just my eyes failing me. It's okay. I don't need them for commentating, as we've demonstrated. <laughs> <laughs> don't need to be able to see anything. <laughs> so I guess that just means we're missing a hook shot. Here's Jabu again. That we know is Baron. Yeah, that we um, know is Baron. So uh, we we have a boomerang, so we can place it. So it's fine. So I. Take it he's just doing stone jabby for Oh yeah, he's just realized. <laughs> cool. Bye. I was I was just wondering. <laughs> so can we actually complete any dungeons yet? So Tom can do forest mm -hmm. with the strength now. Uh Shadow we need hovers. Water we need long shot, but we could do more of water, but it's barren. And it's barren, yeah. Bear it, we could do child side, which could be important. Yep. DC's done. Deku, we haven't found. Fire is foolish and needs a hummer to go any further. And Jabu, we've just talked about. Yeah. So, just forest. Everyone's favorite dungeon. I can confirm. There has never been anyone complaining about uh, about it, not once. Hey, we could we could have seen Child Forest. Like Child Forest is cool. <laughs> uh, that would be cool to see, but uh, how? Like, does the slingshot work in Forest? Yeah. So you uh, there's a I don't know. Infamous is the word, but there was an RSL seed one time where. The um, the boat was Way of the Hero, as we pick up Saria song here. Vanilla Saria song. Both yeah, of our the... runners having a high five. Decided oh to yeah, nice. Just uh, take a nice gentle stroll through the Sacred Forest Meadow Aww. together. Pleasant. Isn't that nice? Oh, I know what I was going to do now. Um, yeah, but there was a Way of the Hero bow in the bow target in uh, Forest. Oh, okay. So you needed so as, with a strength you can push the block, but you can't climb on top of the block because you're too tiny. 
Right, okay. I, I was going to do this um 23 minutes ago, but we have a restream here, and this restream could not be done without the support of all the volunteers. So, we've got Baby Shark, we've got Shannock, and we've got Lady Draco helping us out with tracking and doing notes. Thank you so much for helping out, and it's actually Alex's uh, debut performance here on the Silver Gauntlets, so well done. Um, yeah. Me and Wolfie are chatting you all up today. We are so happy to see you as we find Minuet of Forest. Runner today to French brilliant, brilliant runners of Ocarina of Time Randomizer in Ryu. And this is like, what are we watching at the moment? We're just <laughs> synchronized, <laughs> synchronized seeds. As Tom and Ryu give us a synchronized Zooter, I'd give it a 6.2. Um, Wait. In the pool. Oh my goodness, this is actually... <laughs> I'm sorry. We we have to be able to talk about this. This is... This is incredible. Okay, who's the quicker chickener? Is the question. <laughs> well, it's... Uh, it looks like, unfortunately, Tom has uh, made a couple of mistakes already. I've been, I've been watching a little bit of a... Um, hundo recently, 100% glitchless. No, glitched uh, 100. Uh, no SRM. And the run starts off by doing chickens. So, I feel like I've seen a lot of chickens. Uh, um, would, that, would that be Linkus, perhaps? For a chance. Uh, I've been watching Linkus and uh, Arthur Udin doing it. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, some of the glitches in there are very, very interesting. <laughs> oh, it is only three chickens, by the way, so that was easy. Oh, and another bomb bag. Uh, only an hour and 25 minutes into the seed, we get the second bomb bag from chickens. So yeah, uh, a happy one hour from 25 minutes in the future. By there the we way. go. <laughs> uh, definitely remembered on the mark. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Ryu's going to do um, some school collecting. Uh, yeah, as it looks like Tom's gonna go into spirit, so we're gonna see um, child spirit at last. Nice, it's good to see. Yeah, Cola, I absolutely love three chickens. I think three chickens is the French kiss perfect amount. I'm feeling a lot more calm now that the runners are not doing the exact same thing at the exact same time. It was starting to weird me out. That was a bit uh, of panic, wasn't that? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just hit, going back to uh, Hundo, just for a minute. I've been I've been playing this game competitively for over a year now. Like I. I, I don't do any glitches, but holy schmoly, like some of those tricks that they do, it's just like, I have no idea what is going on tech wise. I just watch and just like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Things are happening. Yeah, he's, things are happening. He's, he's things reaching are flying into, everywhere. A, into a woman's <laughs> butt and pulling out a, 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 a dried face. It's, uh, it's. What, what is going on? <laughs> even that, I just don't understand like how they get stuff on B as well. Like even that is just like <laughs> mind blowing for me. I know that's like very kind of known, but like I have no idea how to do that. Yeah, I know. I know of the of the trick. I do not know where what it entails. It's. Uh... <laughs> But I can't even ISG, so <laughs> just <joking. laughs> We've got a BK here, so child spirit hard required. Okay, good to know. But both of our runners are doing Child Spirit anyway. Together, more high fives. Just, uh, they just don't want to be too far apart, apparently. Hmm. We got a, a question. Was Shannock saying Minuet lead into DMT? I think there's no small key here, so he's going to have to get out there. I think it was, um, Minuet might have led to SFM. Which led us to uh, CAC. I'm not 100% sure though. Uh, we'll just find out right now because Tom is playing it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it is DMT. DMT okay, you're absolutely yeah. correct. 
because you can get to hacked from DMT as well. Yeah. And uh, Tom deciding that he wants to play every single warp song he has. Hey, uh, why not? Which is fair, because uh, it's pretty hard to remember. <laughs> So this will be... Oh no, it won't be. I'm lying. My brain just automatically forgot that it was randomized entrances somehow, and I was like, ah, yes, Bob Tree Bowling. This will <laughs> be the Mirror Bowling. Shield. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, the, the Mirror Shield still needs that. No. <laughs> uh, it does Got things for your brain. Sodium. <laughs> we have... Mixed pools. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um... HK put in that command. So we've got Mitch Paul say we are currently randomizing all of the entrances possible into one big pool of nonsense and we've put them all back together again. So that's what we have today. Thanks for some really fun seats. It's also uh, shop sanity, so you can find items in shops. Uh, owl sanity, so all the owls take you to different things. Uh, all the warps take you to weird and wacky locations. Um, and we've also got... Uh, did I say Scrub Sanity already? I might have. Um, well, it looks like there's descriptions a bit of a mess, just like the mix pools. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I swear I'm a professional. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, yes, and so Scrubs uh, can have anything and so are required. Or might be required, you never know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a we got a hell of a mess, and of course we love it. We yeah, have a so couple of other like weird and random things also shipped in, but we'll mention them when we come across them. So we're still needing the uh, to find Deku somewhere. We're still needing to find um, access to Hyrule Castle courtyard. Uh, is there anything else? I don't think so. Yeah, we're still missing that. That's like still the, the big thing that we're missing thus far. <laughs> um, yeah, I get paid. Sure. Definitely. Uh, right? Hell Knight, yeah? Uh, Checks in the mail? Question mark. Fifty percent of all subs go towards the silver gauntlet. The other fifty percent goes to me. Oh, so you've got my check. <laughs> ah, right. <laughs> I have some words. I wonder what's gonna happen now. I wonder what. I wonder if um, Tom's gonna head to Forest next. Probably would be a logical place to go, seeing as it, it is. Um, it's a hard, required dungeon to complete. Yeah, I would imagine so. It's uh, it's required. It's got a lot of checks in it. It's not barren, and it's. Um, He's got all the items for it, so I, that's where I would be heading, personally. Um, if I can remember where it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is... Doo -doo -doo. Where? Oh, uh, it would be in the Kakariko Skull House? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I should I should just remember it's a dungeon, so it's in Kakariko. You know. That is, there there are what five dungeons in Kakariko, so that would make sense. Another place people could go to if they wanted to clear density would be bottom of the well, which is in Hyrule Field. And we do know where DMT is as well. Uh, not DMT, brain. Uh, GTG is. But we can't get to it because of uh, it's locked behind another strength. So once we find mm -hmm. that other strength, that's another really wonderful location for like all the different checks that are there. 
Yeah, and Tom's got a strength which we found in the Composer Grave, which is in Gerudo Valley. Where the hero Gerudo Valley and um, Ryu is currently missing that, but hopefully with the Wolf Valley, double Wolf Valley, uh, Ryu will, will get there soon. And uh, horse bar back ar archery is not uh, providing us with much today, unfortunately. Just some more arrows and a little bit of money. Just trying to look back into chat and see what's happening. Yeah, apparently we've got a a union vote coming up soon. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> I'll, uh, I can be community manager. I'll do that. You know, I, I think I could do that. I'll just sit in my backside and criticize things like a backbencher. Oh, that's a very British thing to do. <laughs> it's, it's why we like football so much. It's because everyone can pretend to be the manager. Like, ah, yes, I would. What are you doing? <laughs> why haven't you done all these things yet? Like, that's exactly what I'm like. Uh, yeah, what? What are you doing? <laughs> it's, it's like, yes, football players, I could be doing a much better job. I could tell you what, I could not do a much better job than... Well, I can't... I think every, somebody is better than me at everything, so... And we have uh, seen uh, Ryu Kane doing that one scrub that only exists as a child in Death Mountain Crater, and it had nothing. Just 20 old rupees, so he, he burned to death for his troubles, which seems like a unfair trade. Luckily, Ryu had a Hylian shield, because if he had his... De Ooh, nice little jump there from Tom. Um, if he had a Deku shield equipped, it would have uh, burnt. Which is uh, why we always buy shields. Mm. And why you always remember where the Deku shield is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you bear. Don't you bear. Oh, and Vanilla Dampe. Given a heart piece. Uh, at least it doesn't take like 20 odd tries to get it. Just, just $20. $20 to burn to death. It's a great, great offer. If I could elect to be burnt to death for twenty dollars, I would say, "Get me in that flame pit." Yeah, it's a bargain. And as we were, <laughs> as we were saying, yeah, forest, forest temple is exactly where Tom's going. <laughs> hey, we we got one thing right, and that was only because <laughs> Janik has been doing the sheet for us. <laughs> yeah. uh... Thankfully, without without trackers, us commentators would have zero power. It's just just not at all. Um, one thing I didn't uh, check is whether the runners agreed to having a break today. Oh, that is a good point. Uh, because on longer seeds, that uh, no breaks is confirmed. Okay, Our, we're doing no breaks. Yeah. Exactly why you need unions, people. The hard breaks, yeah, they both decided for the no breaks check in the race time room. Oh, Ryu is going to get the strength here. So oh, nice. We might That's see crazy. double forest. <laughs> Which Somehow, would just be wonderful. We're going to see double forest. Where there's a will. There's a way, where there is no will, there is still a way, unfortunately. Double nap, double tired, double sleep. Oh, I like that. Double snorest. Double snorest. Except for... I like forest. I do, I think, honestly. Forest gets a bad rap because of randomizer. I mean, it I never there. do forest, but that's <laughs> but that is for Zeus reasons, not for sleepy reasons. Mm. 
Because I... Forest is just... I don't know, I just think it's long and you don't get any items out of it. This is true. And then the one time that you actually do need to get something out of it, unfortunately you've not done it and you've refused to go to it. Oh yeah. You've already lost. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just like the EU Weekly had Strength 2 in there, and I was just like, Nah, I'm not going to Forest. Nah. Boring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> forest is bad content. That's true. And when uh, content drives the algorithm, you know, just doesn't make business sense. You can now officially say that it's not endorsed by, by Twitch, I guess. Wow. It just doesn't make good content. Rob just delivering the bad opinions in, in chat. 20 forests over water? No. 20 does seem a bit excessive. I could I could I could go for 10, you know. I would I would much prefer full clear in water than full clear in forest. By a long shot. Even with Dark Link? And if I was in water, I would have a long shot. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Through fire. Skulls are a hundred percent dead. Yes. Uh, all the hints have, have come out for 50, 40, and 30, so we will not be needing to go to the skull house today. Except for forest, but you know. That's because of the location. <clears throat> Free picking up Greg. It's always nice seeing all of the memes uh, come up in uh, in a stream. All of the memes. Yeah, so for anyone who has come in later, we unfortunately have found all of the memes already, so we are we are now memeless. There's nothing left to find. Yeah. <laughs> memes are good memes are dead. That's it. We killed them, we're sorry. We've even had additional memes like Talon in a night only location. We've had we've had all of them. Have to start making new ones. At this rate. Uh we are getting green po block push. Green po block push soon, which is always fun. Bit of fun in the forest. Yes. Yeah. Aesthetically. Aesthetically when it comes to forest, I think it's probably one of the best temples in Ocarina of Time. I think Just... vanilla is the best temple in the game. I think it's the first place you find the, the hands that drop from the ceiling. You get to like twist the direction of rooms. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you get to go ghost hunting and there's like monsters that come out of pictures. All really cool things. Mm. Uh, and it's where you get the bow. Just an iconic item, but uh, for speedrunning, it's just unfortunately one way of doing it, no additional tricks. It kind of just makes it that little bit uh, unfortunately boring. Yeah, and the music's really good. The music's really cool. Oh yeah, the music's great. It's very haunting. Oh. Zora's Domain. So we're going to get uh, to see uh, King Zora skip here. With a... Uh... Ooh, a setup I've not seen before. Yeah, this is the ESS setup. So you do these funky things, then do three ESS, I think it is, and... Do the jumpy jump! Oh wow, I'll need to try that, because the, the setup that I have is just back walking. Yeah, and this uh, Zora's uh, letter only unlocks the know it all house today, so... Oh, uh, a very important location in Ocarina of Time is... Oh yeah, just so you know what happens with all the C buttons and things like that. It's uh, very helpful for our runners. I wonder when we get, like character dialogue randomizer that's that's what i'm waiting for so, wait say that again 
Character dialogue randomizer. We have text shuffle already. So oh. all everything that people says is completely randomized. It's it's five percent in RSL to get, and it's the worst setting that could be picked. So oh oh okay, I didn't know it already existed. It's 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 terrible. <laughs> like you you pick up you pick up a sculpture and then you have to go through eleven different text boxes every time you pick up one. <laughs> uh, no tech shuffle, please, please just and, don't. Like you don't know what the what the guy in the shop is saying because he's like, ah, go and speak to Sheik in the temple or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Oh well, I guess I've been outvoted. <laughs> yeah, Sub something. Some certain has to be the worst one, and that is Dungeon Key Sanity. Yeah? You, th you think that's the worst setting? Ah, oh, dreadful. Go into what Forest the... Temple, pick up a Shadow Key. Go into what Shadow, the... pick up a Forest Key. Silver and you just do Rupee. That over and over again. Silver Rupee Shuffle. Well, at least it's, um. <laughs> Hopefully it's not broke anymore. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you saw the Freaky Friday where the seed was logically unbeatable. No, I didn't actually. Yeah, apparently the logic for the Silver Rupee room was that the fire trial to get the one in there uh, didn't require strength 3. Um, but it needs strength 3 because you need to yeet the pillar. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Unfortunate logic. A uh, couple of things. Goombill has... Um, has Thingy Blobby Tom not got a shield? I don't think so. There is a mirror shield, uh, child only, in Lake Hylia um, that Tom hasn't got. And Kill, welcome to this Mix Pools Madness. We're playing uh, Swiss round two in the Mix Pools tournament. And for all of Kill's viewers and herself, Mix Pools is that we've got all the possible entrance randomizers put together. Dungeons, grottos, indoors, and overworld. We've mixed them all up and we've spat them back out. And we are getting lost. Yep, getting lost with uh, a lot of different locations. And uh, right now, uh, we have our three barren dungeons, which are fire, water, and jabu. Um, and yeah, basically, our runners are just trying to go around and complete what they can. Uh, we're still searching for uh, Castle Courtyard and the Deku Tree uh, in terms of locations, um, and we have one strength so far. So we're we're probably that's one of the big ones that we need to look for. Yeah, we're not um we're not tracking uh, every location today as we see a big chest in forest. Hovers! The hovers! So that gives us now um, full access to complete um, the Shadow Temple. Shadow which Temple. Which we know where it is. And uh, the Shadow Temple is a great location to, to do because it does give you uh, that extra song because of the Forest Medallion. So. Oh, I've not seen this block set up at all. I was literally about to say this, and I wonder what Tom's going to get. Uh, 39, which is, which is cool. 39's good. Yep. You, you want to hit a 41. The, the mysterious 42. I've never got a 42 yet. I've, I didn't even forward. know 42 was possible. I knew 41 was, but 42... I've had, a, I've had a few good 41s in my time. I mean, I've spent an hour practicing that green pope block push because it's a really important time save. Of yeah, two seconds. As as someone who uh, <laughs> isn't isn't a professional runner, I can say, uh, yeah, it probably is. I mean, the thing that I spent the longest practicing is the glitchless jumps in a uh, um, ice cavern, and uh, so far it has managed to save me negative thirty minutes. Oh well, <laughs> the glitchless jumps in ice cavern are really easy because you push the block and you can climb up. Oh, is is that the the glitchless strat? Got it. Mm -hmm. uh, was, mm -hmm. There's, uh, I, I guess I need to change tactics. <laughs> yeah, push the block. It's I fun. Don't. It's uh, it's guaranteed. 
Are you, are you sure you want to guarantee that? That's uh, that's a lot. There's a lot of our, our viewers are in, in America. They can uh, they can sue. <laughs> Don't promise that. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 the the opinions of Chuckles do not represent the Silver Gauntlets or uh, Hell Knight. Uh... Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's just let's just let's just admit it. They like... bring back slow block push. <laughs> no. <laughs> I watched somebody do a, an old challenge. What do you call it? A uh, challenge seed, um, which was run on 3.0. And, oh wow, that was just tedious watching slow block push. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, those were the days. <laughs> Wait, what did I say that was, like, bad? Did I say something bad? I didn't clock on. What did I say? Uh, what, was I my, what was my opinion not represented by the Silver Gauntlets? I don't listen to what I say. Oh, uh... Uh... I have also forgotten what I've said, so <laughs> the, the, this could be problematic. No, oh, well, uh, life goes on. We're just chatting nonsense as always. As always, I think it was your your take on slow block push. I think. Oh, like, just, oh like, it was entertainment it. guaranteed. That's what it was. Was what uh, I said. All right. <laughs> yeah, I can't guarantee that. <laughs> can't guarantee that. Specifically from slow block push. I was like, uh <laughs> April's Fools, you have all the quality of life stuff taken away, so you have to go through the warp animation for when you play a warp song, and you have to talk to all the owls. And when you pull the Master Sword for the first time, you have to um, watch the whole cutscene. Starting up the game, you get the lovely cutscene. And oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. And uh, doing all of the Gerudo uh, cra uh, craftsmen, freeing all the the men from their prisons. That doesn't take long and isn't tedious. Ten big poses as well. The men from all their prisons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the carpenters. That's the one. <laughs> Words are hard. The men, the men from all their prisons. Yes. Yeah. You also had the Gorons, but they're not men. Or are Goron men? And they've been goron fight. Uh... Maybe they're genderless? Yeah, you don't see any women Goron. In Zuta. In Ocarina of Time. You do see women Goron in other games. Very curious. I think. Do you see women go on in other games? That's why I'm thinking Twilight Princess primarily. If there was gonna be one, I think it's in Twilight Princess, but I don't think. Hmm. I don't play the other games. I don't. I don't have time to play other games. I've got Goodness to spend all my you. time playing. What? From I know. Years ago. Well, two games. I play this and I'm still playing Triangle Strategy at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I approve of these choices. Yeah. I'm on my second playthrough of that, but I'm like doing every single route in my second playthrough. So I'm saving like the locations. Like I'm saving at the choices and I'm doing all the choices and then going back and just playing through it again. Nice. Very, very, very nice. <laughs> So, uh, Tom is in shadow. <laughs> yes. We've, we've yes. seen these two first two checks, but once these two checks are done, we are I'll going to you. be seeing new new stuff, and we Brand can be excited. And we um. <laughs> shadow Temple. Can kind of ignore what's happening on Ryu Kane's screen for a moment? Yeah, it's, let's just, just put, like, put a picture over Ryu's screen or something. Put like, I don't know, put a... Somebody get a dog or something and put it over Ryu Kane's screen because. Or like... just, or just like a patch of trees. Ah, we can we can snazzy up Ryu's uh, overlay whilst uh, he does forest. <laughs> uh, deconstructed forest temple. We'll charge you three times as much for watching. Ooh, that sounds like restaurant food. 
like deconstruct it, <laughs> pull pie or something like that. Yeah, exactly. It makes it better, apparently, mm. when you have to, like, make the food up yourself. <laughs> I mean, like, things like build your own taco, no, build your own burritos, and, like, yeah. Like, if you ever get duck from a Chinese and you have to make your own duck pancakes. Oh, that's great. Yes, that's that's fun, though. Like, deconstructed apple pie is just... It, it's just, like, sugary apples and crust, but separate? I, I, I don't see that's the it. point. That's but, it? <laughs> it's just apples and crust. But why? <laughs> The best part of a crumble, or I forget what they call it in America, is like the topping of it. Ooh, very much true. Cross. <laughs> <laughs> Am I okay? <laughs> I'm being held against my will. I help, send help. Yeah, sorry, you're in a you're in a commentary booth with me. It's going it's going off the rails again. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Okay, we've got checks that we haven't seen before. That looked like it was nothing, so Tom's running away from the blades. Um, I was going to say something about food. Oh yeah, I'm, like, I'm surprised you're talking about food. Um, because I thought in Scotland you had to like, kill your own meat and like, I thought that's what happened in Scotland. Yeah, to be fair, we still have to try and catch our own haggis. Um. It's particularly difficult. They they have three legs and they run round mountains. One leg is longer than the other so that it like supports itself. Wait, hold on, hold on. You're having me on here. No, no, no. Seriously. A haggis isn't an animal. Yes. No, it's. <laughs> Are you talking about Pokemon called Haggis? There, there is no Pokemon called Haggis. <laughs> we don't have that much representation. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you had a whole video game, but it was included with the rest of the United <laughs> Kingdom as well. Yes, this is true. Uh, Herbal, yeah, haggis hunting season is, is quite important, honestly. We, we do need to call the numbers. They're pretty bad for scaring off deer, honestly. I know you're having me on. <laughs> I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Like, if you said that it had normal amount of legs... I say normal as in, like, that's a... I shouldn't say normal because maybe three legs is a thing for some things, I don't know. But... Should we talk about the Shadow Temple? Yeah, maybe. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh... uh yeah, animal legs is definitely something to do with uh, Ocarina of Time, I'm sure. We've we, not we... found anything exciting in the Shadow Temple uh, at the moment, but yeah. it's actually, like, we're getting to a point in the seed where the mix pools kind of shenanigans is, you know, you just need to know where to go and, and do and find your items and, and do the dungeons. It very quickly becomes like a standard seed except for you know you've got your own map basically you've generated your own map from uh the 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 different locations and sometimes maps are really good sometimes you find that all the locations are really close to each other your warp songs synergize well with all the other entrances and sometimes it's just a massive faff to get to places and it's yeah like you have to cross the whole of like uh across the whole of hyrule field to, to get to, like, Kakariko and things like that, and it's painful. Uh, also, another one for the bingo card, with uh, Tom voiding out. Um, unfortunately getting crushed by one of those uh, spiky crushers, I assume is what they're called. Uh, I think crushers is good. I assume it's, it, it is because they crush. They do crush things. Imagine, like, a pestle and mortar but instead of grinding up herbs and spices you're being ground up into such nice a lovely image um, I kind of fancy haggis now 
How do you like your haggis? On pizza, honestly. No way, really? Yeah, 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 it actually makes a fantastic pizza topping. Oh my god, that is so cool. I highly recommend if you're ever like in Scotland, this goes to everyone in chat, uh, try pizza with haggis. It is amazing. So do you have to like fry the haggis beforehand or do you like bake it with the pizza or like how is it how is it done? Uh I you just get like um pre-cooked haggis, just like you would with like most meats on pizza. Mm -hmm. And then you just pop it in the oven as Oh wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Oh wow. It I is. bought three pizzas from Tesco today. And none of them were haggis pizza, so I'm really disappointed <laughs> with my options now. <laughs> Damn you, pepperoni! Uh, to be fair, you don't have iron brew either, so... Uh... Uh, we have we have iron brew in the UK, it's just not like... Not readily know, available. I would say it's not... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not, not celebrated even more than celebrated, not guzzled to the amount that you Scots love iron brew. Yeah, uh, fun fact about Scotland, it is the only country in the world where Coca-Cola is not the top sold s soft drink. As Rio picks up the hover boots in the forest temple, um, there's nothing else in the forest, so we'll, we'll wait for Rio to complete that and we'll continue talking about iron brew. Yeah. Uh, and as Lady Draco was saying, uh, happy two hours, everyone. It is now two hours into this wonderful mixed pool scene. Uh, scene. Seed. Uh, and uh, just want to say, we wouldn't be able to do this without all of our lovely volunteers uh, working with behind the scenes, keeping us all on track with uh, where all the locations are. So th thank you to our trackers. Um, today we have, I do believe it's Baby Shark. Um, uh, Shannon and Lady Draco, who are trackers today, um, and a big thanks to our restreamer Hell Knight, for which without none of this would happen. And thank you to my co-commentator Chuckles for allowing me to uh, ramble on for for hours and keep it entertaining. <laughs> thank you. Yes, I am brilliant and fantastic. Thank you for having me, uh, Wolfie. You've been more than a pleasure to to commentate this this match with, uh, and we probably have a good few hours to go. Don't forget, we've got we are watching two absolutely top tier runners. Um, as Tom picks up strength two in Perfect the timing ish of the mid back of of shadow so rio is also uh in shadow he's done the back two checks already so we'll be picking that, that up in about i would say 11 minutes time roughly yeah 11 sounds about right and maybe uh, still... nine maybe i've over <laughs> uh, well thankfully uh tom at just the right time and supporting the silver gauntlets by uh, by demonstrating his support to the stream. So thank you, Tom, as well. Uh... Uh, did we bail on forest? Did we complete? I don't remember him killing Phantom Ganna. Uh, no, he did. He did. He did kill Phantom Ganna. I'm pretty sure. He did. Oh no, maybe not. Oh god. I am now questioning everything. Yeah. Same. <laughs> Which is probably not a good sign. Let's assume that he would have done it because he was in the green block. Push room, definitely. He picked up the hover boot, so I don't understand why you would. Oh, forest is um, forest is a stone. So yeah, maybe that's he just decided to bail at that point. Uh, but I mean, I, I guess know. it's not. It's, I guess it's not too hard if if it does seem that like all dungeons are required. The forest yeah. isn't that hard to get to. It's you know in Kakariko, and the, if the entrance is open. I think it's it's definitely an aggressive play. 
because you know there's two guaranteed items there that they do take some time to get. Um, but it's kind of one of those things and I don't know, like, more experienced runners in chat may or may not disagree with me here, but I just think you're there, try and be as safe as possible in mixed pool seeds is kind of my motto, but I'd love to see what Cola or, or Rob says uh, about that. Purple seems to think it's a, a fine place to bail, so... Yeah, I, I, I would say that's fairly reasonable. Uh, yeah, there's nothing there, so it's not going to burn him <laughs> at all. We have another big chest here, and the din's locked part, which is a second bow, and the um, the small chest there was nothing as well. So the din's was only required to pick up uh, the strength in yep. the composer check so far. Because strength is required to get into forests, which then gets you uh, your hover boots for a shadow. That would mean that fire arrow is a lot behind Thin. <laughs> uh, yes, Virgil. Uh, Din's way the hero for strength in the same area. The other shenanigans we might see is that Din's might be for spirit key logic as well. Could very possibly be. Um, right now, I would say that without the mirror shield, uh, I think Ryu Kane's actually in a better place than Tom. Um, I cannot remember where the bomb tree bowling was, though. Uh, bomb tree bowling is the domain, the, the Lake Hylia 2 domain, actually. Right. So, I don't know when he goes back, child. Uh, for that. Well, late is way the hero. Um, and the only thing we found there thus far is a scale, but we well, we know that there's another scale. Uh, Tom doesn't know that, but... Oh, spin strats. Bongo. And for those of you who don't know, uh, normally when you have a shield and you're fighting Bongo Bongo, um, there is a very specific speed at which you're meant to hit him, in which to prevent him from getting back up. Uh, and the speed, I can't remember quite the numbers, but it's the same tempo as uh, Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Oh, Vic. I always, I always do it to skate boy. Oh, is that the exact same rhythm? I think, I'm pretty sure Melrose made a playlist of all the songs that you can do. Uh, I, I'm probably misattributing this to somebody, maybe it's somebody else, but there's a, a Spotify playlist with all the songs that you can do it to. Nice. Is that for all the bosses that have a specific rhythm, or just... Just Bongo. Just, just Bongo. <laughs> he's, he's very special, gets his own... <laughs> Chat saying we need a Dins for the strength in... Shadow. Am I missing something? Is there a reason we need a dens for the strength in shadow? Uh, no, we didn't. I don't think. Oh, it was in the dens. No, it was um, it was in the Gibdo room. Yeah, it's in this room. We found a bow up. in the dens room. Yeah, yeah, that was what was in there. So yeah, Baby Shark saying any song with 150 BPM would work. Yeah, we just picked up Requiem. Uh, so we'll see where that takes us. Yeah, because I think once... Um, yeah, that's the yeah, too. Yeah, Ryo Kane picks up the strength too. After Shadow, I think we pretty much just go to Spirit after this, don't you? And it seems like uh, right here, Tom is going for some of the lake checks, so he, he might actually be quite quick to go back to Child because he knows that it is way of the hero. Yeah. 
Meanwhile, Ryu Kane is taking a nice boat ride. Um, no, so uh, Skull Sanity is not on purple. Yeah, Hoppers is a strength block. That's a good point. Yes, it Hoppers is a strength uh, block. Past the strength one block in the forest. Then, now, Tom, going into third dungeon in a row uh, and completing Spirit Temple. Or trying to without the shield. Yeah, so. Can do pretty much all the checks except for the two. Well, three if you include Twin Rover uh, checks. Ah, oh, yeah, good point, uh, Rob, because you can go to the hand and jump off and then head into uh, the GTG, which is the Silver Boulder in Desert oh, Colossus. Yeah, very, very much so. There. There's some uh, runner logic that kind of went past me at first. It's, uh, I think uh, both of these keys uh, will be a small key? No. Yeah, Spirit Temple key logic is an interesting one. Uh, I don't think it has to be. No, it, it could be the child climb ones and also yeah. it can be uh, the ones in the main room. Yeah, because there's also Din's fire as well. Yeah, so there's there's plenty of places for keys here. Yeah, Bear said saying doing this without uh, mirror could be tricky. I think one of the things, and maybe Ryu potentially did the same as well with the Forest Temple, is that you you skip one or two checks in a dungeon, and you're just not going back to it, especially the Spirit Temple Mirror Shield ones, which uh, they're actually take some time to climb uh, the dungeon again. Yeah. So. It's just uh, yeah. one of those things that like, because you're doing so many checks all over the, the place for the, the dungeon, you mm -hmm. pick up most of the main items. Like It just makes it bad effects. to go back to. Yeah. Uh, that's key four that Tom's just picked up. It's an adult climb. So we've got key one and key four. Uh, and an item which is the light arrows. We ah, need those. Okay. So, uh, no one's going to be floundering for the light arrows this season. Um, thankfully, so there won't be any sort of uh, casino lock on that. Mm, nice. And again, we haven't found <laughs> Castle Grounds yet, so. <laughs> we still don't know how to get to Ganon. Mm -hmm. But we know how to defeat him, so that's that's at least nice. I didn't see that, I, but I think there were two brown chests there. Yes, I think so. And there's Ryu Kane with that uh, specific beat as well for, for Bongo Bongo. Getting the nice one cycle. Making it this look is, This is key two as well, which is magic lock. So, magic and a fire source hard required to beat spirit. Which, depending on where the uh, third strength is, just could be the case anyway. Mm -hmm. And then this is key uh, three, so we have keys one, two, three, and four now. So with that, it doesn't really tell you. Sometimes with the spirit key logic, you can avoid the um, the check, like the the fire sun block key room check, knowing that it's a key. Uh, but with four keys collected, um, you can't take that assumption out today. And Ryu Kane picking up uh, Requiem. Did Tom play that? Did we find out where that went? No, he didn't. He went straight to DMT with the uh, playing Serenade. So we're going to find out now, which is Hyrule Field. Ah, okay. Well, 
Tom has taken us the majority around there. Uh, Domain was there. I don't think anything... Oh, there was an item in Hyrule Field, wasn't there? Uh, there is also a uh, Bottom of the Well, which ah, was okay. in Hyrule Field, uh, which uh, is a really check-heavy place that we haven't seen. And we've got all the items to to go through it all, so I wouldn't be surprised if one of them went there um, at some point soon, I guess? I mean, what would you be looking for, though? Mm. Okay, so Ryu is following in the path of Tom at the moment, in uh, heading into spirit with that strength too. Ryu does actually have the mirror shield, so Ryu can full clear, so this is going to be uh, more uh, convenient and better routing for, for Ryu here. And uh, Tom very easily clearing um, clearing that without the shield, which is uh, a lot harder than it looks, because they do a lot of damage. Oh, uh, right hand has a big item, and it's FW. Oh, that's actually really helpful for Tom here, without the mirror shield. You could, oh. well, he's scummed it. I mean, you could have placed FW there. And gone to GTG and then gone back to Spirit after you finished GTG. Yeah, I was literally just thinking that, about to say it, and uh, he... No, you weren't! I out. thought of it! It's my strat! <laughs> you can't take it from me! <laughs> uh, it's okay, I will I will survive with Haggis and Iron Brew, it's, as all true Scots do. <laughs> Haggis, Pizza and Iron Brew. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> There used to be a, a ride at Blackpool called the Iron Pro. Is it gone now? No, it's still there. It's just called Revolution now. Ah, right. Okay, I see. Lost lic licensing rights, maybe. Those, those <laughs> difficult licensing rights for um, for Iron Brew must be really hard to come by. It's a, it's a big brand in Scotland. <laughs> I bet all the big football teams in the Scottish Premier League or the Scottish Premiership uh vying for the chance to have Iron Brew sponsorship. <laughs> uh, I wonder how many people outside of the UK even know what Iron Brew is. Oh, I think it's a I think you're underestimating like availability of Iron Brew in the UK. You could go into I think any shop that sells like cold drinks would uh, oh, I, like I, sell Iron Brew. Yeah, I, I meant outside of outside. Oh, of sorry, outside of the UK. Yeah, it doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just thinking about our chatters. Yeah, Lake is hinted uh, where the hero. Um, Tom has only found a scale there at the moment, which he may think that's where the hero for some reason because he doesn't have the other strength, uh, other scale that's uh, readily available. Um. Well, technically, the scale takes you to the end, it allows you to get into Zora's domain entrance, which is where the mirror shield is. But there's another scale available, so it wouldn't be way over here. I mean, it's important, and, you know, actually, he may think that the scale is way over here for that reason until he finds the other one. Oh, that's a blue fireball. Interesting. Oh, uh,. Goron Tunic, too expensive. Can't buy it with this wallet. Uh, no, he can buy it. I think he's already got one. Oh, does he already have one? I yeah, just heard the heard the can't buy it sound. Does yeah, I think it, it says you can't buy this item right now because he's already got a Goron Tunic. Hmm. Because it's 200 oh. rupees. Ha is that something that's changed in, in these settings in Shop Sanity? Uh, no, you, the, the randomised... Um, uh, Goron Tunic can be in the shop and actually there was a fun seed I think Cine was in that race I can't remember um, where we were talking about it afterwards that the randomised uh, Goron Tunic and the shop Goron Tunic were in the same shop and were pretty much the exact same price <laughs> right I see because uh... oh you can't buy it as child yeah yes. I was about to say as child you can't buy it ah uh, yeah so yep, is yep, that yep, why? Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
Hey, 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 hey. Thanks for keeping me in check, chat. Glad we have chat to kind of keep on top of us. <laughs> and that's the last small key in um, in spirit. I'm about to see the checks that uh, Tom didn't do before bailing. Yeah, didn't and couldn't. Yeah, we're going to see the um, the big chest on the other side of the. Then we have that bottom of the well play. Oh Don't wow, Ryu really doing some interesting strats to check the sizes of the um the size of the, of the chests. Head. Yeah, that's interesting. I saw someone doing it the other day and uh what was funniest about that was that they checked and then were unsure what the check was, so just opened it anyway. Yeah, I think if you know there's no keys there that you can ignore it, but Oh, there's a big chest on this hand as well, so vanilla sizes here. <laughs> and it's a claim check. But big the claim check? Oh, okay. oh, I didn't see that hint, it was already uh, taken. So, uh, unfortunately, nothing on that side, and Pharaoh's on the other. At least Ryu can see that there's a big chest on the other side, so he won't miss the Pharaoh's wind. How yeah. useful it'll be for him? Well, we'll see. <laughs> Well, if he if he places it and then does GTG, if he knows that GTG is where it is, then well, he's going to get nailed it. Oh, avoided! Completely ninjaed the Sculptula climbing up there. Yeah, pretty impressive. Um, so we're. We're kind of still. We still need the the long shot in terms of uh, completing the uh, water temple because although it is uh, dead, it is a medallion, so it is required. Mm -hmm. um, we've got the light arrows. So we've got that. Um, what else could possibly be needed here? Um, like we haven't found Deku, and I could see Deku being behind strength three. The yeet uh, drop. Ah, uh, yeah. One of the few locations we can check. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, like, I'm trying to think of other locations we haven't checked yet. Lake, um, sorry, Domain to Lake, I don't think we've checked. All the Storm Grottos, we haven't got Storm checked, so we haven't checked that yet. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. So that song check, the only one that we don't, that it could only possibly be is on Burning Cack. So we need to complete water for that. No, we need, we need to find the long shot somewhere. They do have access to Colossus already. We found it kind of early. I think it's in Cack somewhere. Uh, yes. Uh, we picked up ZL from there, didn't we? Yeah, ZL was on uh, on the Colossus, and it is Kakariko. Um, I think front of Potion Shop is it, or is it the other shop? Maybe. Maybe. Can't remember specifically. <laughs> it's one go. of those two. Big chest there. That could be big <laughs> for him. Uh, wow, that was just, that was like, it sounded tired. That's what that sounded like. <laughs> it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't intentional. It was halfway through, as I was saying it, I was like, uh, I should probably put some stress on this. <laughs> oh, this could be funny. <laughs> uh, very, like, mildly possibly. <laughs> Oh, it's a slingshot. That's the first slingshot we found in the seed. Um, yeah, a slingshot doesn't do a lot for us here. I mean, target in the woods, of course, like potential goma logic, you know, standard kind of things. So, unless target in the woods has something, this uh, the the well play hasn't really proved particularly great for. Tom here, but as he's child already, he's probably going to go through and do a few of the uh, 
other checks that he's missed, which might possibly net him that mirror shield. Which would keep put him like just behind Ryu Kane, I would say, in terms of what he needs to do. Yeah, I guess it's it's kind of hard to think of like a head behind in these kind of settings because you have it's in standard you have a bit of a clearer picture about what people have done and like how long it takes to get to places and things like that. Um, whereas in these settings, it's a bit more tricky to kind of yeah, know who that, has the advantage. That one dip into one dungeon or whatever is it uh, could be like a few different loading zones apart. And that can take quite a while to get from A to B to C. Whereas mm. in the normal seed, you can kind of tell pretty roughly yeah. what's the fastest way. Yeah, exactly. Consistent timings and all that. Interesting bug with mixed pools is that if the dungeon is in a grotto, then when you blue warp out, you go in front of where the actual dungeon is, which is not in logic, but it's an interesting quirk. So when Rio completes this, he will blue warp into um, as a Colossus, rather than being outside the Grosso. Oh, and we have uh, in Zoro's domain shop, we have found the other shop which gave him the larger wallet. Ah, okay, interesting. So we won't be running out of money anytime soon. And Tom, not having done the Zora King skip yet, will be going back there to find uh, nothing that it's not very exciting at all. He will, he'll know it all when he sees this house. <laughs> wow, you could have you could have laughed a little bit more at that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> do you want to do you want to do it again? We'll do it again. Sure. Okay. Second time. Ready? Second. He'll know it all when he sees this entrance. Is that good? Well, you happy? Disc Discord wasn't happy with the uh, the change in sound that happened, so it muted you. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, uh, the moment the moment's gone. The moment's, the moment's gone. gone. It's it's over. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, I tried. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Wait. Well, yeah. We'll just never talk about it again, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we've got a, a rupee diving minigame, and uh, the twin rover uh, finally being taken down here. Always so much easier when you've got the big Goron sword there. To get a nice easy one cycle on twin rover. Oh, I love this strap to, uh, to light this torch by back walking and shielding into it. It's my new favourite thing. <laughs> it feels so good when you get it. It looks so slick. Yeah. In all honesty. Uh, I'll need to try and practice that at some point. Picking up a fish when we go to uh, Fountain as a uh, child. Yeah. It's quite a supportive item. Mm-hmm. Absolutum. You could say an emotionally supportive fish. <laughs> Wait, he ain't lying about that? Am I missing the pun here? Where was the lion? <laughs> in the in the wardrobe with the witch. Ah. Uh. I'll be having Narnia of that. Uh, oh. <laughs> Dreadful. I love it. You're welcome. <laughs> I think we both need to be moved into the containment zone and then we can have <laughs> zero comments for you for a few minutes. So do we see any... Ah, oh, yep, big chests further in the maze. Uh, in GTG. Sorry, what was that? Say that again. Big chest uh, further into the maze in GTG. Oh, okay, cool. So we need some keys. Need some keys, need to traverse it all, but thankfully with uh, with your gauntlets there, uh, you can pretty much do everything. 
everything. Yeah, you we need can to. do everything. We should be um, probably counting keys to see if uh, toilets are nice or not. Yeah, definitely should. Uh, I think we've had one so far. Okay, so two. that's two. Something I always forget to do while commentating is counting the keys. Did we find the key in the in the lobby. Yes, it was a lobby key. Okay, and then somebody said there was a key on the right side, Shannock said. So we're up to Twa. These are French runners, we can count in French. Yes, I did a, I did a whole year of French, so uh you know I can I've forgotten most of it, but I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Baguette. So uh, Big what? A key? Yeah, why not? Big wet. Ah! I watch um, I watch quite a bit of well, of uh, French restream. So I know some, <laughs> I know some words that relate to Uta. Like, Bo is Ark, as in uh -huh. Noah. Um, I think I know of him. <laughs> what Noah? Yeah, and his and his Ark. And his arc. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll say some French soon. I don't know. I'll, I'll think of something to say. Uh, le, le poisson. Ah! Le jus de poisson. Si! <laughs> the fish game. I don't know what fishing actually is. <laughs> uh, the verb to fish. <laughs> French is not my strong suit. Uh, je suis content aujourd'hui. There we go. The natural French words. I I appreciate it. Um, and finally, we're gonna get uh, Tom getting his mirror shield, which is nice. Um, he'll be very happy to see that after uh, being locked out of spirit. Is being a bit of a troll for Ryu Kane there uh, on the center of platform. Uh, I forgot to check. Did the Wolfhole's room have a key? What were we saying? Was that did the <laughs> Wolfhole's room have a key? I don't think it did. No, I think we've got we've got four, we've seen five keys and we've picked up four. Okay, perfect. As Shannock is happy to confirm for us as well. So thanks for that. Ah, Percy. That makes sense. Six. Or six. Sorry. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> I can't accept this. God. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will apologize for trying to make cross language meme. Uh, cross language uh, puns. Ne pun, ne pun pa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, we are definitely going to the containment the right side. Yeah, I might live there for a bit. Ah! Uh Oh, and there's yeah. the long shot. It's a long shot. Ooh. So Ryu, I wonder if Ryu's already counted the keys because we've got two keys remaining. And if there's nothing in the maze, then it must be Toilet and Beemos. That is if there's zero that keys. Right? That is. Oh, that's the wrong way. Don't go that. Way. <laughs> that was that was that close. was that was very close. <laughs> that was risque. I can imagine sometimes those th sort of things happen when you're on autopilot. You just uh, you're thinking about something else, where you might need to go, what you need to do. Oh, it's a slingshot. Oh. That's helpful. I don't know if the um if the check that Rio just walked past in the maze then was a small key or not. It looked like it was a small key. But 
So maybe... I don't know, maybe there's another item. Yeah, it... Rio's going back in. Yeah. So, potential toilet item. Oh. Uh, I won't get Dastar's hopes up just yet. Yeah, the texture, like, my my comments on the textures are well documented, and but they're just sometimes it can be tricky to see. Yeah, okay. I think so. It's that's the that's a key. So toilet's an item. It's just a little unfortunate. That the the color scheme is just it's just slightly different yeah. to what it normally is. I think if it was a little bit brighter, I think it'd be much better. I quite enjoy that the S5 Cs at the moment are two iterations back on the small key textures now. Because <laughs> they get like the whole point of the the texture is so that you can see it from far away and and know and. If you can't really see or know from far away, then what's the point? <laughs> Question mark. Mm. I think the 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 big chests make some um, like random logic as well. So like a big chest in the Goron City maze, you could do a backflip to get over. So I think the the point is trying to keep the sizes of the chest the same and being able to identify the the checks in another manner. Um, Yeah, a very very difficult thing to do to get the textures looking as good as they should do. So, I mean, everyone's doing as as good as a job as they could. I think just make them blue, make them bright blue. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe blue is the answer. <laughs> yeah, blue, blue. I was thinking like, have it like, have the the yellow. You know how like the the big key chests are like yellow and green. They've got that kind of. Uh, yeah. Like, like, just make that, but the opposite colours of what they are. So it would be the opposite of yellow and the opposite of blue, if that makes sense. Yes, it does make sense. Just about, I think, in my head, from the way it I'm looking at it. It would look really weird, though, and people playing, like... I guess one of the things is, like, uh, it's got to... People who haven't played randomizer need to know, like, what they are and what they represent. I don't know. It's a, it's a tricky business. So that's GCG done, yeah. and we have a long shot. Um, I don't... Any... Sorry, go on. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, I don't envy the job. I don't envy the job of trying to mod it all and figure out what textures work and don't... It's... Oh, yeah, like, it's it's, uh, it's a really hard job, and the artist and everybody are doing a really great job at trying to figure out what's the best thing. Uh, Ryu's back in... Uh... Ice, I'm assuming to get blue fire. Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine why it would be anything else. <laughs> yeah. Because that was one thing that uh, I imagine uh, Tom did. He came back and uh, picked up an extra lot. If I remember correctly. Drug. <laughs> um, ooh, he's, he's got two blue fire. Oh, he's gonna head to Domain and do him the Zora shop and uh, King Zora in one go. Oh, of course, of course, yeah. Which will give him that extra wallet. Mm -hmm. But we haven't seen anything too wallet locked, haven't we? No, not, not particularly, so I'm mm. not entirely sure what the wallet might get? Is there, was there something in a shop that they couldn't afford? Nah, I don't know. There are three logic, three wallets in, in shop fantasy. Um, but sometimes you need them, sometimes you don't. I'm just trying to think where the other, like, if there is if there is a shop that we haven't seen that, um, that they're, like, wanting to pick them up mm. just in case for. Yeah. I don't know how many shops we have seen. I think there's seven shops, eight shops in the game. There's four potion shop bazaars. There's a bomb chew shop. There's a Zora shop, a Goron shop, and a Kiri shop. So I think there's eight shops. 
but I don't know oh. how many we've seen. And Tom getting a trolled here by that Sculptula. Yeah. Showing exactly why it was impressive earlier with that. Uh, when when Ryu Ryu did it. it. Yeah. <laughs> and Ryu, Ryu. Just yep. rushing. Gonna put FW here and find the BK. Yeah, you beat I mean, me to it. <laughs> it's gonna be on the river chest. Why, why do you say these things? <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? Like, why would why would it be easy? Uh, I I like Water Temple when you, especially when it's barren. If it's just the first chest you go to, just just please, sometime, once. Yeah. <laughs> Whilst I was defending uh, Water Temple before, yeah, kind of barren BK looking for Water Temple is just. <laughs> Like, you can't do any of the fun, like, logic stuff, because it's just like the VK could be anywhere. Yeah, you just end up having to run through the whole thing anyway, which is always fun. Although, I would say, I do like trying to do Central Pillar and get, like, a, you know, do it with even less and less time. There's at least an interesting challenge there. Yeah, you could do that, yeah. But in, in an actual race, uh, it tends to take up a lot of time. Some nice, interesting uh, movement strats there from Tom. Uh, jumping off the platform while shielding as he lands. Yeah, the swag strats. The perfect angle. I wonder if Tom feels like he might be a bit behind, just because uh, he got the mirror shield um, quite a bit late, and it was a check that, you know... Yeah, it's always a hard thing in the new settings to know. I mean, of course, in, in standard, you never know when you're ahead or not, and I think it's even worse in mixed pools that you just don't have a clue. Like, yeah. it's not that you feel behind, it's like you just don't know if, like, your opponent went to... It's just, we always say in standard, like, seeds are quite often made on, you know, whether you go child or adult first. Like, it can completely change what uh, the route in and the items you collect and the order you collect them in. But in mixed pools, like, when you start a seed, it could be decided on, did you go left or right <laughs> when you spawned? Right? <laughs> like, that's how, and that can completely diverge the path and you go, Two completely different ways, and that just completely changes the order when you pick up items, how many times you backtrack, and things like that. Yeah, I mean, even. Oh! Uh, Tom getting knocked over by the ice uh, is actually the preferred option here rather than it hitting the ground. Yeah, because you lose um, so much health, even with titties. Yeah, just so much health and time. Um, they're normally ready to attack you again by that point. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, uh, and I didn't even see Ryu King picking up that that boss key. Yeah, and Morph is dead. <laughs> and uh yeah. That's that's Water Temple down. So basically that's... an entire dungeon ahead. Yeah, that's five five dungeons down. And now it's casino mode for hammer. Yeah. So, I wonder it's, what uh, option Rie would take. Like, probably bottom of the well looks pretty tasty for the density. Um, as we've seen, it's not there. <laughs> so, could be a mistake to do it. And uh, Tom's doing I don't think of jumping off here, and he's going to be back at the middle <laughs> of the of the thing again. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that was the thing. I was wondering if that was an accidental. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Accidental push. Genuinely thought he'd uh, messed up by accident. <laughs> I, I had a fun one the other day where I, you know, the Bolero check. I I jumped off the bridge, and I came, and you could see me jumping off the bridge in the cutscene, and I'm magically back at the spot <laughs> to pick up the song <laughs> and learn the song. Nice. <laughs> yeah, storms is still a wall. Well, all the storms check. So that must be storms. Must be burning. Ah, right, yeah. so we can. Uh, Ryu could now get that. Um, and. That has to be Storm? 
do we know everything else? We know where opponents and and we know that um, Bolero is Ocarina of Time. So yeah, so Burning Cack is Storms. Yep. Yeah. Um, which is what makes that like a uh, long shot to Water Temple being really fast, really good. Ryu Kane, I don't. Has he not checked Hyrule Field for, for the checks there? You know what, I don't think... Tom definitely has, I don't think... Um, I think Tom has a lot more... Uh, that again. I think Ryu has a lot more... Overworldy stuff to do. Compared yeah. to Tom. At this point. Just a little bit more thorough from earlier. So, I, I guess it's closer uh, than I initially thought. Which is, which is always good. We like a good close race. Mm. Yeah, he's gonna go through and find... Domain. He knows this is... I'm guessing he... Well, I'm guessing he knows this is Domain because he picked up the two blue fires. I'm not sure, like... Yeah. Uh, also, Tifa, hi. Uh, good to have you in. We're having a really wonderful mixed pool seat. So, everything is shuffled. Um, uh, like all of your uh, song warp locations, all of your entrance locations, you've got Scrub Sanity on, it's it's just a whole bunch of fun. And uh, our runners here have uh, collected a lot of information from where everything is, but we're still missing a few key locations. Uh, we haven't found a Deku Tree yet. Um, oh yeah! And we are still looking for uh, Castle Courtyard. Uh, we've got two strengths, um, and Ryu is ahead with a long shot that Tom is about to pick up in GTG in five minutes or so. And uh, what else has been going on? Um, yeah, we're missing, as we were saying earlier, we're missing uh, Song of Storms, which is where a lot of our location checks that we're missing are. So. Yeah, I'm just uh, opened up uh, Maraxis's tracker just to kind of see what we're missing. Like we've got all the castle grounds um, kind of checks. We have the Hyrule Castle Fairy, um, Ganon's Castle Fairy, um, the Hammer location we haven't done. What else have we not? Had? Um, everything there is yeah. done. Maybe some owls. Maybe the DMT owl we might not have seen. I can't remember if anyone's taken the DMT owl yet. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. That's I feel like we should have. I feel like we should have seen it because we've seen like the runners go up. To DMT yeah. as a child for the scrubs, so I imagine like you take it there just to find out what it is, but it, mm -hmm. it clearly wasn't anything uh, too spectacular. <laughs> and we haven't seen the Jabu entrance yet. That's another entrance that uh, we haven't got yet. So a few entrances, but really they're all Storms, Hammer, Castle Grounds lot. Yep, pretty much. And Ryu is going to be taking us on a tour potentially of the Storms Grottoes now. Oh, apparently we do actually have the uh, owl lo uh, locations on the sheet, <laughs> on our tracking sheet. So thank you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Chalak doing all this work. It's just like. <laughs> We're so bad. <laughs> not shocking. Uh, it's not unappreciated. We just uh, were blind, unfortunately. Yeah, lazy. Big... I think is the, the term. <laughs> <laughs> so we've now uh, Ryu Kane's got that uh, storms finally from Burning Cack. So he'll be going around just checking every storm scrotto location. Um, in the hopes of finding where we need to go, because he's pretty much almost done. Oh, 
And uh, oh, that was a. Here's Domain. We're going to see the Domain Storms Grotto to start off with. A nice little shortcut to <laughs> to get you back to the next one. Oh, oh, there we have it. Here's Ganon's. So this is a ton of checks. I think overall this is, I want to say, 17 checks in Ganon's oh. with the, the scrubs on. Yeah, with the scrubs on, it makes it much bigger. So that's interesting. Tom's about to pick up the long shot. Wonder if they'll decide go. to head into water now. Yeah, good chance of the Hummer being here. So this is this is locked by storms, which is locked by shadow, water, and spirit. So we kind of got here any earlier. We had to go through all these things. Yeah. Scrubs to start. I wonder if anybody knew this existed as vanilla. <laughs> I never did. Never did. <laughs> Not even once. Well, I've played the vanilla game a good ten times, I think I'd say. Before playing Rando. Uh, it was a hearty check, but uh, a bit pointless, unfortunately, for Ryu Kane there. Was that supposed to be a pun? Yes. I, it's not supposed to be, it is. <laughs> Whether it's a good pun is a different matter. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> um, I say there's 17 checks in here. Of course, eight of them we can't touch because there'll be strength three locked. So we're going to do about half of them. There's as many as eight that's locked by strength three here. Yeah, because there's seven in the big room, and there's one that's ZL locks behind it. There's quite a few checks. There's so. a lot of checks. Yeah, that's why Light uh, Light Trial loves to have something in there. Oh yeah, of course, because it's the room with all the all the uh, mini chests. Mm. How about here's another one. Why don't we have shuffled trial entrances? So you walk through a door and you walk to the spirit trial door and it's the light trial. Um, I feel like that would be relative. Well, I mean, it'd be pointless. It would just be like, yeah, <laughs> What's it's the relatively point? pointless. What's the point? Yeah, so, yeah, it makes sense at this point of view, this far ahead, for Ryu Kane to go in and uh, do the uh, put down Pharaoh's Wind for when you're finally ready mm -hmm. to come back here. Mm -hmm. And that is our uh, second runner in the toilet. Unfortunately, to find that there is uh, nothing here. No royal flush. Disappointment on everyone's faces. Royal flush. <laughs> um, I'm trying to find that one. So, after, I mean, Ryu Kane's really, all he's got to do from this point on is just, um, if there's nothing in these trials, you just got to go through all the storms checks, there's not really much else there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, rush locations, and then if the, because of course the most dead, well, he's got, now you found, so, it's kind of weird, so, in these kind of settings, you know you need to find Ganon's at minimum, so it makes sense. So in kind of the de 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 the decision tree of do I do checks or do I check locations, because you need to find Ganon's, you might as well check 
entrances until you found it. Now, now you found Ganon's. You're in a decision point of now. Do I do density, or do I keep checking locations? Because the dense play would be, um, would be bottom of the well. Yeah. As there is a a big chest here. Is it vanilla? Is it strength three? That's incredible. Alright, okay. Alright, I'll put the spoiler log away. <laughs> if you if you would, it would be nice, thank you. <laughs> uh, I didn't even celebrate. I was just like, I oh, know. I know it's rank three. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I I'm helped cheating. by there was only like four items it could have been. So <laughs> That's true. That is very it was an easy true. Chest to make. Oh, there's a big chest here. This is Lens. Ah, nah. uh, your magic's run out. <laughs> you. Uh. Oh. No. Nope. Nothing. Let's check. We could also do the uh, Yeet Rock location now, so... Yeah, we can finally find out what's what's behind uh, OGC. Hmm. Save quit here. Oh, thankfully Tom doesn't actually have to go that far before he picks up the boss key and completes this, so it'll be interesting. Um. Did Ryu Kane actually finish checking all of Hyrule Field? Does he know where Bottom of the Well actually is? Uh... <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> know. Just reading what Shanak's put in the slot for the slingshot. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeeting that rock. Double yeet. But nothing. So I am like. Yeah, I wonder like how likely it is to go straight for uh, the river check and domain check for like the. Uh, Song of Storms here, because it's um, like, I mean, for for Tom here to try and like catch up to Ryu, because finding Gan's castle, having that um, that check and that uh, Pharaoh's wind already set up is quite big, quite of a big means that it's going to be a quite big lead. So we're really just we need to find that hammer. And we're just trying to figure out exactly exactly where that might be. And I'm wondering like how much Tom has an advantage with um, having already done the well. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like Ryu's heading to the well now because the well is uh, the south uh, yeah. grotto. So it looks like he's gone to make the decision that he's going to check density over the remaining locations now. If he had any storms locations even left. Maybe the river. I think the river storms location is still to be checked. The valley storms location, we we, uh, we we had the shop. We walked to the shop, didn't we? We checked that. And I yeah. remember seeing the SFM storms one. So the only other one is um, river and the fortress storms checks. River storms were checked. Yeah, so So there's not really much much left here before uh, Ryu Kane finally rolls up the seeds. So it's it's getting pretty tight, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, you'd imagine maybe Tom find Tom goes gets uh, storms, does storm checks, goes to castle. If like strength three doesn't actually end up being um, anything of use, then it might have you know bought Tom some 
you know, time if he doesn't go to castle first and manages to find the hammer and complete Fire Temple. Yeah, yeah, we know that the Strength 3 isn't needed, so... And he has almost every single other item in the game, so... If he does the entrances in a different order, then... Potentially finds Hammer before Ryu's done with... Bottom of the Well. It, it definitely could be the thing that brings him back, so... It's not over yet, it's still, it's still everything to play for here. Bottom of the well is very short though, especially with however you want to call it, CAMC, CTSMC. Mm. Allows you to check for those few extra items that would be a little frustrating to get to. I love how August just pops in with like the god information. <laughs> 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 Clearly paying attention to this way more than what we're willing we're managing to, to do. <laughs> That's why August, August is the S-tier commentator of of Zuta, So I guess so. We're being outclassed and outmatched. Yeah. I mean, it's not. It's not <laughs> I'm, from my experience, it's not hard for that to happen. So. <laughs> yeah. And as pointed out in chat, yes, Tom finally has bought a shield. That's uh, three hours, so happy three hours, everyone. So, um, we'd just like to say thank you to all the all the volunteers that helped make this stream possible. Uh, coming into this, it's, uh, it's a lot of work, especially in mixed pools. There's so much extra going on, a lot to keep track of. So thank you so much to our trackers, uh, uh, Lady Draco, Shannon, and um, oh my brain's gone blank. It is uh, Herba Shark, uh, Baby Shark as well, of course. Um, thank you to our runners for letting us restream this and having a great time doing so. Uh, Tom Pouts and Ryu Kane, who are fantastic French runners, definitely check them out if you get the chance. And thank you to our restreamer, Hell Knight, who is the glue that binds all of the silver gauntlets together. That's some pretty tasty glue. <laughs> Did we thank us? Did we do that? Oh yes, and thank you to my commentator, <laughs> uh, uh, Chuckles, for... Uh, now, for all I want is just to be appreciated. That's all I want from me, come on. <laughs> well, I just, I'm just waiting for my check, so I'm going on strike until I get paid. I'll pay you in Iron Brew. That's all I wanted. That's cool. <laughs> um, and big, big thank you for coping with me, I think is the word to, to use uh, for this. Not at all. It's been an absolute delight. I've had a great time doing this. Whoa, Shark with the language. Oh. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I do not endorse this language. <laughs> what language? It's an 18 plus stream. Oh, it's it's fight like the um, the stream can endorse it. I don't. I I am. Uh, uh, as we know, Scots people are so uh, well mannered and have. Very... I was gonna say, <laughs> wait, are you are you a non swearer? Because there's part of me that disbelieves that. But I'm not here to judge. <laughs> I'm not here to be stereotypical. To be fair, yes, our language is uh, is often uh, casual swearing as like a way of gre greeting. <laughs> How the fuck are you doing? No, that was Irish. I didn't want. To. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna leave before I offend more people. That's sane. That's sane. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll miss you, but will we? Will we miss me? Will we? <laughs> I, think, I think people are sick of me. I think they're like, oh, that chuckles. All he does is talk about big break and Agus. <laughs> and Anton Deck, obviously. And Anton Deck, yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
It's okay, one of these days you'll catch a haggis of your very own. My first you think haggis. I could, like, buy a haggis from, like, pets at home? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely, there's one in Edinburgh that does it. But, like, you're not really a true Scotsman until you've caught your first haggis. Okay, I'll come up to Scotland to catch my haggis, if that's okay. Yeah, of course. Uh, all the tourist centres are quite happy to let you know about catching haggis and haggis season. Cool. Are you, are you, like, are you, do you classify yourself as being from Edinburgh? Is, is that a region that you, you would associate yourself with? Yeah, around the area, yeah. Okay, like, say. Edinburgh is actually my favourite city in the world. Oh, it's lovely. It is, it is actually a really lovely place to be. It's absolutely adorable as fuck. Tanjo 3 is raiding with us with a party of 16. Welcome in raiders. I hope to Wuta, WWR, whatever it was, and Marbles on stream was absolutely fantastic. We are currently playing mixed pools. This means that, well, you've seen from Tanjo stream, Tanjo's in this tournament, that all of the entrances at that possible have been shuffled into one giant mess and given back out again. That's dungeons, interiors, grottos, and overworld. We also have some other shenanigans as well. Um, no, there's no tan there's no marbles on the stream afterwards. Um, we are, right now we're coming into like the end game of this this particular seed, uh, where most of the items have been found. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the hammer somewhere. Um, we've just unlocked storms. Um, which is opened up a whole bunch of locations. And once we have the hammer, we're pretty much go mode. It's just Fire Temple and uh, to Ganon. Um, and Tom picking up those golden gauntlets uh, that we that Ryu Kane found just a few minutes before. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's still all to play for, depending on who finds that hammer first. Yeah, we're uh, kind of thinking that, well, I mean, Let's be honest, I, we've not been paying attention to a lot of this, but our understanding of the um, of the, of the game so far is that Ryu has a bit more of the overworld to clear in terms of checks than what Tom's done, but Tom is currently behind on the number of dungeons done, but actually until, when Ganon's is done, he'll be equal, so. Yeah, and he has actually set up Pharaoh's Wind in the Fire Temple. So I'm not sure if he's going to start climbing Gan's castle here for that one check. Um, we still haven't found the Deku tree, um, which I think one of the only locations we haven't actually checked is the Jabu Jabu entrance. If yeah, I'm correct. yeah, that's one of the entrances we have not checked yet. Which I'm going to put my money behind, I think, is where is where it's going to be, and it's probably where the hammer is as well. I like, like I've said, we've said, like our attention span to the seed has been oh, no, minimal okay? at best. <laughs> we were okay trying to swag that and just missing it. Just missed it. That's normally how I do it as well. I, I try to look cool and then look terrible, which is day-to-day -day life for me. The best um, way to do a swag strat. I don't think I don't know whether we've been in like Impa's cow back. That's like one entrance. I don't recall seeing um but i don't recall a lot of entrances actually uh, i'm pretty sure we saw um the back of his house okay yeah, so probably was, some grub grottos left over some generic grottos are probably left over yeah because um, I, I'm pretty sure, it's been a while, it's been a few hours now, but I'm pretty sure I remember when they were all in Kakariko, they they definitely checked the thing. Not that I can remember what was in it. Oh um, yes, of course. Uh, we haven't checked uh, Hyrule Castle. As mm -hmm. child. Yeah, so two entrances here. One of these 
surely has to be the Deku tree. Oh. You are early. We'll see. No tree. No tree, but a few scrubs. I think this far. No. I can more. feel myself getting getting uh, getting tense as each one of these checks brings you closer and closer to the hammer. Basically, we've we've practically checked everything in the game at this point. That we are aware of. Yes. <laughs> there's a there's an asterisk next to that statement. Any of our statements. <laughs> Anything we've said needs to be fact checked by BBC Reality Check. Ah yes, it was Ruto's letter in the back of the bus house. I remember initially being like, ah yes, this will be important. And I was like, ah no wait. It's they also it on the again. sheet that says Ruto's letter back of Impa. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I do hey, look, pay attention, there it is. I promise. Wait, but why is there a bomb there? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. The sheet's a lie. The sheet's a lie. <laughs> I think I think the sheet is saying that Life is a lie. Reality is a lie. Go into the back of Impossible oh, yeah. Sorry. I get that. I understand. I understand it's, this now. I it's pretty difficult to remember which way round it is sometimes. Yeah. Okay. In so all honesty. The location that is back of, that makes that would make logical sense of why you would put that in there. But I was thinking the actual check of Impa's house itself hasn't been seen. So I feel vindicated. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe just. Maybe not. Maybe, Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I just Who knows know. at this point? Maybe. I think after three... <laughs> I mean, uh, I completely agree with how... Goals. I completely agree with how it was written in the sheet. I completely agree. That's definitely logical. I completely am with you. Yes, uh, I agree, Shannon. It is, uh, it is incredibly important to the seed right now. <laughs> yeah, can you just... Oh wait, there's the other side of it. There we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, uh, I'm trying to remember where um, the the entrance to get to Jabu Jabu would be, or the fastest entrance to it. Oh, um, I can't remember how to get to Fountain. I cannot remember. Yeah, the runners are making it great timing, just specifically for us, thankfully. They, they like uh, making Good it easy timing. on us. Good timing. Remember that time where they both like entered and exited Link's house at the exact same time? That was so funny. That was so good. <laughs> and how they were like in sync to Lon Lon Ranch as well. That just was just running, like neck and neck, walking back, same pace, doing everything the same. Yeah, yeah. that was so good. What a good time. <laughs> what a good seed. We should have like a highlights, like a, a five minute highlights reel of every stream. That'd be yeah. great. That actually sounds like a great plan. A lot of work though. Oh, loads of work. And as we've established before, we don't particularly like work, so... <laughs> no. Trackers! No. <laughs> we, don't, we don't like doing anything. We have a job for you, trackers. <laughs> yeah, the trackers can do something else. We'll just sit here and talk nonsense. That's why there's a tracking union, because we're so... We've got, we've got nothing to complain about. <laughs> we're so pushed towards, like, trackers do everything. It's like, they're the... You know that episode of Friends when it's like, the blue shirts and the white shirts? You ever watch Friends? They have Friends in Scotland? No. No, I mean, we do. We do have it. I just haven't watched Friends. Okay. Maybe I maybe I should, question mark? Mm -hmm. I don't oh, know. Okay. Does, it does it stand the test of time? I'm not telling you what 
I, I can't. You, you should do. I'm not the boss of you. Oh, I mean, that's the worst for England. That, that's Malcolm in the middle. You're not the boss of me now. Ah, oh, Malcolm in the middle was great. That was fantastic good. show. <laughs> <laughs> Purple coming can't... out with the the Scottish facts. <laughs> Also, I like I, I like the, the sly little like dig at England there. Like, <laughs> right? Okay. What do you expect? <laughs> whoa, whoa! Don't get all defensive, Scotland. All right. So in 2014, um, I was in America. I was at, uh, during the summer of 2014. I was in America, mm -hmm. um, working out in a summer camp, and. Uh, I was in, like, I was worked at the summer camp. There's no kind of like internet, and I was uh, traveling around New York afterwards. And I was in a um, a hostel. This is Jabu, by the way. And Jabu is a generic grotto. I'll finish oh. the story in a bit. Is it? No! no! Oh! oh, so close. <laughs> Deku tree. Where is this Deku tree? It's There's Deku Tree behind the hammer, maybe? Maybe. Which means we've just got random overworld checks. The Dancing Dad still hasn't been done. Oh, the bottom of the well entrance and the desert side of Wasteland. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Please let me go again and take this <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Stay. Uh, to complete my story, yeah. So, oh, so yeah, yeah, sorry. Been, I was in America, and I was in a hostel, and I was like, "What's like happened? Like since I've been away?" And the person said, "You almost lost the top side of your country." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh yeah." Like so, when people talk about the Scottish referendum and stuff, then like what happened and like the politics behind it, completely lost on me because I just wasn't there. Like I completely, <laughs> completely forgot. Just, uh, you're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever, it's fine. I mean, it turned out okay so far. Well, it depends. <laughs> depends on your, <laughs> on your perspective. Depends on your perspective, doesn't it? Like, I don't know. Like, people seem to be very. Oh. Ryukane uh, walking straight past Dancing Dad. Not, not gonna deal with that right now. Which is, I wonder, like, is that him just wanting to go straight for a different check, or do you genuinely think he might have forgotten? No, I think Ryu did all of Child Gone City. Did he do Dancing Dad as well? I know we were talking before about there'll be no Dancing Dad at this point, so... That's because we didn't have Saria's song. Tom? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna shrug again. We'll see it when we, we'll see, it when we see it. That we will. We'll see it's, it when uh, we see it. <laughs> We're great commentators, we promise. We pay attention and don't berate the tracking staff and don't ask for raises. Okay, uh, I think next seed we need another tracker to do a whole spreadsheet of location entrances. That's good. I like it. So, therefore. <laughs> If you would want, oh, that's capital letters, Adam. Uh, Chuckles, stop. Uh, if you want to be a volunteer, then uh, please do join the Discord. Yeah, we would love to have you. We're always looking for for more people so that we can uh, host more games, and uh, we're a great, fun little community. Um, we love everybody. We, even though we pretend to, you know tear each other to pieces. We're actually very friendly to each other. Um, it's all an act, we promise. Um, and yeah, we would we would love to have uh, new people come on, whether you want to do some tracking and get access to our fantastic tracking sheet, or whether you want to come on and try and do some commentating. Uh, it's all open and we would love to, to have some more people on. So, um, oh yes, and as Purple is saying, we, we obviously, have to say we are not a cult. 
Officially, TM. Not a cult. Big chest in Deku, and it's the hammer. And that's it. That will be game, set, and match for Ryukane. So the Deku, Deku was in the well as we were re recruiting members of our cult. And, uh, Union, and <laughs> with Ryu having everything done, except for fire, of course, because we need the hammer to complete fire. <laughs> the Silver Gauntlet's definitely not a cult. Oh, uh... Tom, is, Tom is... Tom is cack bound, so Tom is actually going to be slightly um, behind Ryu on getting the hammer, but Ryu has done uh, left FW in the top of Ganon, so yeah, true. This could be like the deciding factor. Not picking up that FW might be that uh, Tom put the uh, Pharaoh's Wind in uh, fire, so Tom, Tom didn't pick up FW. Yeah, right? or did he go back and get it? He he picked up uh, Pharaoh's Wind and he put it in fire. Okay, so I remember Tom picking up FW and then save scoop that. Tom has FW and fire. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, pretty, yeah. He definitely has it. Cool. So. <laughs> I mean, it is tracked on the tracker. So. Yeah. Yeah. Are All you calling our trackers? Are you calling our trackers liars now? Am I calling the trackers right? liars? Is that what I'm doing? Am I calling <laughs> them liars? I just think guidance was misplaced on my side. <laughs> Agreed, Purple. Agreed. Trackers are always 100% accurate. Never wrong. Oh, did he save quite after picking up? Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. Well, that's the hammer. So, approximately, what, like 90 seconds? Yeah. After Re picks it up. Here we go. Dropping into fire. Fire isn't that far away. It might even be one of the closest dungeons to even initiate FW. Hmm. So... Maybe. Because Kakariko has five dungeons, <laughs> so I don't know what a closer dungeon would be. And it's only about True. two, three transitions away. Minuet takes you to DMT Goron City, so... Head into Spirit. Yeah, Ryu's yeah. ahead. Yeah. With FW and Ganon. So. Stum. I mean, like, execution issues happen. I think from this seed, I think Tom and Ryu have been very similar. Oh, very on top of things. Very good execution. Yeah. Um, it's, Nobody would yeah, have advantaged um, the way or anything like that. Yeah, it certainly doesn't feel like there's been any big mistakes or anything. Mm. Just a good solid race. Yeah, and this, I mean, at the end of the day, this is going to be, it's going to be a close finish. It's probably going to be about three, four minutes. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. No, three, four minutes seems reasonable. Mm. It's going to be really close, but I think it would take, yeah, like Kyla said, like a death on Bulbadge on Ryu's side to, for this to happen. It just depends on, will Ryu be safe and pick up a fairy before fighting Bulbadge? Yeah, maybe. Or maybe you just go for like, uh, you know, a risky strategy and just go straight through, not going into the hammer rooms. I doubt it. But yeah, yeah, maybe like like uh, fire temple route and like if you decide to go to upper fire before going to Pierre, I don't know why you would do that because it's free <laughs> scarecrow. But anything could happen. Anything. Being trolled by uh, Q 
keys at this point probably doesn't feel great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does anybody in, in chat know, like, I know, of course, Tom has plays Rando, has played Rando for a long period of time, but is, does he have a history of playing, like, bingo or um, kind of, like, vanilla speedruns or anything like that? I know Tom's been around for a, a while in random. I don't know. Uh, we'll wait for a chat to to catch up because uh, I unfortunately can't help with that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm really excited to see. I kind of, I always like backing the underdog, so I feel like Tom's slightly behind. So I kind of want to see him take this, but we'll see. Just pretend he's he's Andy Murray or something. Well, then he wouldn't be the underdog. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> So, mid-fire. Yeah. Is the call of the day. It's, uh, it's funny how uh, a seed this big can come down to, like, the rooting in fire temple. Ooh. Now there's that uh, fire music that I haven't heard in ages. I've been so used to using uh, random music seeds. Ah, right. Yeah, I pl I play vanilla music. I like I just like the the original soundtrack for this. I think it's pretty cool. It's a very good soundtrack. Um, okay, you keep an eye on uh, what's going on. Okay. Let's have a, a quick look to see what might happen to. So these these runners currently are uh, one and zero. So. One of them will go two and zero, oh, and one of them will go one and one. And the who and O oh runners currently stand at Cola. They're all right. They're not too bad at this game. Goomba. Yeah, they beat me quite quite well. E Cola. Cariosa. Mario. Rob Dog. And Cinny. That's just absolutely stacked. Okay. One and one. We have more runners in one and one. Alex Harold. Oh, the Harolds. We have Harold back to back. Alex and Lee Harold. Andals. DK. Death King. Uh, Barker. Emo. Inko. Ah, Inko's alright. They might have beaten me. King? Stampson? Really? One and one, King Samson. Wow. Bear, Cassinja, Rafa. They're not too bad. Scorpio. They're all right. Tanjo. I mean, they'll do. Marble name. <laughs> Weasel, fellow Red Mask. Uh, and then still to play in, in one and one one and oh. Brock, Blue, Fred, Marco, Rylia, and then of course. Tom and uh, Ryu came. How many people did I offend in that list? I, I imagine a few. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> was it was it anyone that like has beaten you as all right? You know. Eh. Eh. <laughs> oh, Marku won. Okay, I went from um. I was reading the spreadsheet on the mixed pools thing, so I did not know that they played, and allegedly Marco won. So blue in one and one and one and one and oh. Uh one and the blue. Uh, one and one, Marco two and oh. We do have a great uh O oh and one match coming up oh. uh, later on today. Is this There's a picture? The boss key. Boss key at top of Fire Temple. Nice. We have a great 0-1 match coming up in What the Hell versus Exodus. So one of those runners is going to be 0-2, which is absolutely cray-cray. Exo, the bingo master, 
And what the hell? It won a couple of tournaments, not too, not too bad. Yeah, I guess sometimes you get unlucky. Sometimes you, uh, you get placed against someone that's, you know, it's neck and neck, and uh, you end up down, down a game. But I'm sure overall, after a few more games, they'll uh, pick back up their uh, win ratio. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You don't expect these names to stay down. Well, I mean, they'll they'll get to play me, and that's like, oh, that's insta insta loss. Insta loss. <laughs> What's the point of even playing? What the hell, plot armor? No, plot armor's still there. Like, we'll still we'll still be three and two, and still like thrash everyone. I think the the best what the hell plot armor was um, the SGL tournament where they came. It was top 32 and they came 30, 30, 30, 33rd in the qualifiers and one person dropped out and then what the hell won the tournament. Nice. <laughs> From the 32 spot. Oh, 34? Two people dropped? <laughs> That's actually crazy. Ah. <laughs> uh, Ocarina of Time is a funny game, as uh, Ryu Kane is currently brashing yeah. the fire snap. That perfect one cycle. Done and dusted. Easy clap. And now all he has to do is enter a dungeon, press Pharaoh's Wind, and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, as they say somewhere, I'm sure. What? 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 No, you've never heard this. Fanny's your aunt? Yeah. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. No, no. You never heard this? Someone chat must. Must know. Let's, let's, let's talk of Fanny's in this stream, please. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a cultural thing, apparently. Is this a Scottish thing? I think it's a wolfy thing. No, it most certainly is not. <laughs> I, think, I think you just made something up just for just to I mean, <laughs> just to be hilarious. What? I mean, I agree. My puns are fantastic, but <laughs> Bob is not your uncle, Mel. But is Fanny your aunt? That's the that's the I'm question. I'm so confused. None are Bob. One is Rob. He's one a of your. One of your uncles is Rob Dog. Oh, yeah. No, I think you're barking up the wrong tree. No, bark is somebody else. That's a different runner. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, we are almost reaching the <laughs> conclusion. <laughs> this amazing, amazing restream. Yeah, there we go, Ryu Kane. Going to, to Gandorf to have a nice uh, cup of tea and biscuits. Ah, Milky has an Aunt Fanny, so that works. I don't want to. I don't. No, I'm not even going to say what I was going to say. Uh. <laughs> uh uh, well, I mean, if you've if you've ever been to Glasgow, everyone is called Jimmy. So. Oh really? Yeah, everyone is just Jimmy. Wow. I've I've never been to Glasgow. It's a nice place, honestly. Is it? Uh, yeah, there's uh, uh, the people of uh, Glasgow are interesting. Um, there's this this wonderful uh statue of a man riding a horse and uh, someone at some point in history put a traffic cone on top of his head mm. and the police came and removed it and it's been put back up ever since and so now it just stays there permanently because oh, wow. there we go. the police can't be bothered dealing with it and it, so it's become a kind of a, a, a cultural thing <laughs> nice better than a statue of a little boy having a wee like in Belgium Oh. Uh. Yes. Interesting. I mean, there's lots of statues of naked men in Edinburgh, actually. 
just standing in the river. On the water sounds, leaf. Sounds like my gig, I don't know. <laughs> Ryu, Ryu's uh, in the second fight of the final boss of Ocarina of Time. Fighting. Carbon knife. Getting ready to have a nice barbecue in this lovely, lovely weather. Slicing and dicing. <sighs> In our far too hot 30 degree heat. <laughs> yeah, way too hot. Way too hot. Was the little statue in a little outfit though when you saw it purple? <laughs> hey, put, in, little put little outfits on. In Britain, if we see the sun, it's considered lovely weather. Navi uh, just having a conversation with Tom there as he got in the uh, got in the warp. You have a you have a giant mountain in the middle of Edinburgh. That's interesting. Yeah, it's an extinct volcano. Is it? Mm -hmm. There we go. You learn something new every day. Mm. <laughs> I have high standards in fountain statues. What's the best fountain statue you've ever seen, Purple? I'm curious now. Uh, the high quality of fountain statues. Well, we are reaching the conclusion of the Here first we pools restream on the Silver Gauntlets as Princess Zelda starts barbecuing. Every everyone's get get your GGs in chat. As uh, you can prepares to give you a slice and. Officially finishing the restream, or the match should I say, with a time of 3 hours, 35 minutes and 28 seconds, your champion, Ryuki! GG. GG's. Fun times, really fun match actually. Like we had a, a bit of a, a dungeon rush um, in the middle of it when we did Forest Spirit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, back to back to back to back. Yeah, but overall, like it was, it was very close. Like the the runners kept it very interesting. Like made sure, um, like. Kept on track of all the locations far better than we ever did, uh, and they were also playing the game at the same time, which is impressive. Uh, it's yeah, it's a lot of work. It's pretty difficult, but they showed why they're why they're in, you know, winning their first games and taking names, taking names and playing video games, as one man said. Looks like we're going to get Ryu in, and looks like Tom is going to complete the seed. I mean, bring and may as well Yeah. see how close it is going to be. It looks like it's going to be, I said it was going to be three to four minutes, but looks like it's going to be a tad longer. There was a couple of mishaps in fire, and Ryu, GG! Yeah, Yo, GG! Well done for winning in the, this round two matchup. What's your, what's your thoughts and feelings of how you played in the seed? Yeah, that was kind of hard. I think like I didn't play too bad, but there are a couple of things that I thought like that that could be my doom if I did not do it earlier. And I, like, when I found the 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 strength. Okay, first of all, I found Dean's fire in Gerdo's Valley. And then I mm -hmm. saw Composer's Grave, but I didn't have the magic to do the, the torches. Mm, yeah. And I, was, and I was thinking, okay, maybe I can do this as child, because I know the the entrance is still there as child. But the thing is, I forgot what it was. So you you, you might have seen me like uh, fumbling a bit around, trying to figure out where the, the entrance was, and I, I couldn't figure out right now. Because we were, we did think, like, we were thinking about that, and we didn't know whether the, like, the double way of the hero in Gerudo Valley. I don't know if you knew it was double way of the hero, but... Yeah, but I found out that yeah. that was. Yeah. 
Yeah, we did think, well, no, unless you know the setup to get into the tent, and if you, because I know you can, like, fumble about and sometimes walk into there, um, but we were thinking, uh, like, oh, when are you going to go back? Because you found a bomb bag there, you found Nocturne there, you found uh, a strength, there was it a strength there? No, the, the strength was in the composer's grave, you found... Yeah, there was the Inspire, I found Inspire. another big chest uh, the, behind the rocks, but there was behind the banner. Mm -hmm. uh, Nocturne didn't amount to anything, and I found another bomb bag that was not bombing. Uh, I was like, okay, okay. Yeah, there's gotta be something. But the thing is, I was thinking about the chest behind the rock, so I didn't pay too much mind to the, the composer's torch. And mm -hmm. it's only when I get got I got back to the door that I was like, okay, there's actually another check in the valley. Yeah. And yeah, it was a strength, and I'm like, okay, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Thing yeah. is, I. What, I did a pretty long adult one, and I know that uh, I found the, the potion shop from CAC, and I only got the back entrance, I didn't do the, the front entrance. Yeah! So that's the thing I wanted to do at first, and uh, yeah, I, I ended up delaying the first temple because of that. I think it didn't amount to much, I think it was just the, the street, wasn't it, the market entrance, and I don't yeah, but that that was the en Yeah, but that was the entrance to Hyrule Field, and uh, Hyrule Field unlocked so much, so I was thinking about doing Hyrule Field first and not paying too much uh, attention to the, the strength that could be Way of the Hero. And it's only uh, when I did all of Hyrule Field, found out that all of Hyrule Field was still a dot log. I'm like, wait, wait, wait a minute, how do I go Yeah, as a child? And then I remember for a step by, okay, that's gotta be something else. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was a good seat though, it seemed like uh, we, as we were saying earlier, like that that check with them, uh, in in valley for for strength, because we saw it from the other side with uh, Tom already had magic when he got there, so we were we were we were slightly concerned, but it seems like you kept on top of it pretty well. I mean, I, when I found the the strength, I was like, okay, that could be very very bad for me. Because yeah, uh, when I got the magic, I didn't even think about it, either. Because like, uh, with Nocturne, I could have gotten there so fast. Yeah, I think yeah. the overworld map was, was not too bad, as we're about to see Tom uh, finish off uh, time of 3.41.07. So, GG's for Tom for just being GG's hit Tom. by Ryu this time. Yeah, it, it seemed like the overworld map was quite good. You had a couple of good warp songs. Um, I think the only thing that took a long while to find was the, the castle grounds in the end because it was yeah, three it was, medallion locked. It was Tom's locked, so yeah, it was at the end when I... Well, uh, the strength unlocked all of the seed actually. So you go to forest, you find the hover boots, and then you find the strength too, and then you find the long shot. So that's pretty much every thing you, you, you need for your dungeons. Uh -huh. So at the end, you, I still haven't found the castle grounds, and I still haven't found Deku Tree. So yeah, Deku, we were yeah. so deep so yeah, as at well. The, at the end, I want, I just wanted to rush everything that was uh, storms locked. Yeah, yeah, because it had to be there. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, it made sense to kind of do the entrances until you found castle grounds, and then you didn't like Tom already did bottom of the well, so we knew that was nothing, and then. You went off to did that. It was a really topsy turvy seed because there was this period of the seed where you both were, you both did forest, then shadow, then spirit, and you you were like I don't know seven minutes behind Tom doing all of that, except Tom didn't have the mirror shield going into spirit, and you Wait, did. What, so what was the mirror shield again? Oh, um, the make. Yes, the, the snake, domain, right? the scale domain. Yeah. Oh kind of, yeah. Uh, Lake domain entrance. So yeah, I was boring, yeah. He was missing that for a, a little bit, so and it was really fun to watch, really. And there was a point in the race, uh, like, I want to say about an hour and a half in, maybe a little bit later, where you were both going through Lon Lon at the exact same time, and it honestly looked like you were caught, like, in the <laughs> same stream. You were both back walking the exact same way through the through through Lon Lon and everything. It was it was quite funny, honestly. Oh, yeah. so, I really got worried at one point because I was doing stuff and then I quickly ran out of checks and I wouldn't remember what the heck uh, the SFM and London Ranch were. It's only when I 
I, I, th I think I paused a little bit I, uh, uh, to check my notes, and then I remember that uh, the market entrance uh, got me to uh, River, and then got me to uh, the ranch and all, and all that. Oh yeah. So I was like, okay, I can actually do cac and all that thing, those things as child now. But yeah. <laughs> GG. Uh, yeah. GGs. Yo, GG Tom. <laughs> oh my. What a seed. <laughs> Uh, that was a fun one. Yeah, it, it was fun. Go on, you guys Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we didn't stop be being bottlenecked until the end of the seed, but I still feel like I did the seed in the right order. So I was thinking it's gonna it's a bit close, or I'm gonna be ahead if Ryu made a mistake. But since like he. Play the game correctly, also. <laughs> well, the thing is, it's crazy because uh, uh, they were telling me that uh, you were ahead of me for quite a while because you had the strength before me. Oh, I see. And yeah, then so... you were, uh, yeah, you were searching for your mirror shield, and that's one thing I had for a while. Yeah, I it took me a while to find the mirror shield. I don't know if I. If I, was, if I was able to get earlier, uh, I think I earned a child second way too early, I think. But yeah, it was, it was okay. really interesting because, Rio, you said that your adult one was really long. And before you even went to your adult one, Tom did adult one, child one, adult two. <laughs> like, Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, Tom's, your child one was like 10 minutes or something like that. And then you were like, right, I'm done. Go back to adult. Yeah, yeah the thing was... I find last food, and because I knew I was gonna create in child, I skipped it in adult, I think. Mm -hmm. So, and it's not going in child. Uh, and child one was frustrating because I couldn't find a way to go to CAC. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that might that's maybe the, want to... <laughs> That's the question of the day, of the day. How the heck do you go to CAC fast? <laughs> Because Kakariko was, was like a hub world for all the dungeons. Yeah, yeah. And obviously all the dungeons were in Kak. <laughs> five five dungeons had, in Kak. And you had no good way to get to Kak. I just got the trail. Just claim it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that I, I paused like at, at, at least three times just checking my notes and thinking, <laughs> yo, how do I get to Kak? And then I realized, okay, my my best way to catch is actually to save one. And that's stupid, because that means you get into four loading zones before you get to CAC. Mm. Well, just, I, I don't think, yeah, it's awful. I think you got a warp song eventually, which got you to CAC quicker, was that right? But very early on, we noticed that you weren't going to uh, like CAC, and also DMT was a struggle to get to as a child as well. But yeah, I think one of the questions that I've got for you, Ryu, is that you're, um, you got the hovers in forest and then you didn't complete the basement, which this seed had nothing, but I just want to know, like, get your decision making on that. Tom did complete it. Um, what's your thought process behind that? Uh, the thing is, at that point, I didn't have a lot left, like, forest. Mm. I, I had forest and maybe a couple of checks left, like, I, HVI, I, I did never doing that. And I knew that Hover Boots would uh, let me full clear Shadow, and that would get me another song. Mm -hmm. And since the uh, the seed was pretty much uh, still close for me, it could have been uh, either a warp song that got me to somewhere I had never been before, mm -hmm. or it could have been uh, Song of Storms. So yeah, I wanted to check that uh, before I I did Forest, because uh, anyway, the Phantom Ganon is pretty long. Yeah, and yeah. it's only one check. Yeah, and I know that uh, AD is basically dead. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I did complete it because there was a possibility uh, the warp song will lead you to Ganon Castle, for example. I still didn't find the castle, fountain, and domain at that point, so I'll go to finish the dungeon just to just to be safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. But I've definitely seen seeds, uh, seeds before where the AD song is the only way to get to like Ganon's castle and things like that. So that kind of...
both sort of decisions make sense. Yeah, there. The, the thing is, even if that were true, I ended up uh, not paying it, it uh, any uh, any mind because I still needed to sign Deku Tree before that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's uh, a good point. There, yeah, the Deku Tree was still a wall at that point. Yeah, Deku Tree liked uh, hiding very, very far in the seed. Uh, it was the main question here, and commentators were just like, "Well." Wonder where the hell Deku Tree is? Yeah, where's the Castle Grounds? Where's Deku Tree? Like we were just wondering for ages where it was going to be. Yeah, I was kind of afraid it was in Wasteland because that's one entrance that I did not check at all. Yeah, I don't think either of but you checked. I think, the... the thing is that I figured it couldn't be there because it was uh, adult only, and Deku can be. Well, uh... yeah, no, it doesn't. No, no. That... I'm, I'm mistaken here. Yeah, I was trying to think. Be only, but... That's one of the things, I remember having a big conversation before as whether Deku can be adult only. Like yeah, whether yeah. Logical yeah, Deku can be adult still. only. I forgot about it. Yeah, I think it could be, yeah. Um, yeah, and like the just the end kind of finding that hammer was a bit of a Monka-esque moment, like getting to Ganon's yeah. game, that's strength three, and then not being in there. <laughs> well, there wasn't much left to do, just mm. the grotto, the song of some grotto. But yeah, it was, it was still kind of monka Because it's like, you had to pick the right grotto, the right, the right entrance, yeah. and you'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, we were, we were wondering, because yeah. when we... When we were watching at the end, we saw you um, uh, hadn't got to strength three yet and hadn't found the entrance to the castle. And we were wondering, well, if you don't find that earlier and you don't pick up strength three, do you save time there just by dint of not finding that one first? Mm. So we were curious as to whether you're going to go down river. Um, but yeah, uh, you would eventually found it anyway, but it might have got you to hammer fa- faster. But yeah, it was just it was just luck at that point. It was um, a few checks here and there, I think. But you you both played it incredibly well. Like yeah, like you were so thanks. quick mapping the like how yeah, you mapped thanks. that seed so quickly is is was really impressive to be fair. And yeah, you know, like you said that you had only a few entrances left to do some of the pretty crap entrances, and like you did it so quickly. So so big upon on yeah. To, to be that. honest, this seed wasn't too bad because. Uh, in the early game, every big location was a, like a, a big uh, dead end. Like yeah. there was graveyard had only one overworld uh, entrance mm-hmm. in all of the, the the entrances that it had. Kak had a bunch of uh, of dungeons, but didn't get to a, a lot of overworld, etc., mm-hmm. etc. Et so yeah, it was pretty easy to uh, navigate. Yeah, the interiors of Market and Kakari and Kakari Forest were all. Like dead endy sort of checks as well, so uh, that that was that was really nice. There was very little oh, yeah. on weighing. I was also really really confused about finding the uh, the tower in GDG. I was like, wait a minute, you can't go in there as child, and I just never save warped. Oh, oh right. yes, yeah, we because we did say that when we saw it as adult initially, we yeah. were like, oh yeah, chat, somebody in chat said that there's got to be somehow you can get there as. Yeah, uh, because of that, I thought at first that Bolero would get me there. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. And then I see my notes, I see my child spawn is a blank, and I'm okay, I forgot to save up, I guess. (laughs) I think another thing that was... Oh, go on. I was just going to say, I guess when you're, like, middle of the seed and everything's, you know, you try to get through everything as fast as possible, it's just very possible to forget to just, you know... Safe. Yeah, so usually I do that pretty fast because I need to know this information. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I ended up having so much to do as a child that I just never did it. And mm-hmm. then I completely forgot before I get, uh, went back adult. And there was a few nice things with the seed, like the GTG location, just jump off the spirit hand and then do GTG, the warp song to the prelude warp pad, like really made age change and not feel that bad because sometimes with mixed pool seeds it could be like eight transitions until you get to the temple of time but this kind of was was quite nice like that yeah having a direct warp to to the temple is also nice and i feel like the <laughs> items were were at least kind of nice bombs and uh hook shot and boomerang all quite early so lots of ways to get around the map 
and mm. lots of entrances to check while you're doing it, I thought was was pretty good. Yeah, and I think it's important to note that, of course, this isn't the end of the tournament. No, this is actually just the start of the tournament. There's so many more matches to go. This was only round two. Three more uh, Swiss rounds to go. We were looking through the the sheet of people that you could play. Rio being the, the 2-0 uh, victor here. And you could be playing uh, just only Cola, Goomba, E. Cola, Cariosa, Mr. Mario, Rob Dog, Cine, like they're, they're the list of players that you can play in, in 2-0. So who would be the one that you would like to dodge? Who would be of that list of caliber? Who would you want to dodge out of those? Oh my god. I kind of want to play anybody and I kind of <laughs> not want to play anybody. Come on, you can, uh, do, it. You can do it. Uh. I, I guess if I had to pick one I don't want, maybe it would be Rob Dog Because I know <laughs> Rob Dog is pretty, he's a pretty wild player when it comes to ER. Yeah, he's like RSL king. That guy is just like so efficient at everything. Yeah, other, uh, other than that, everyone's a big contender. And I've played everyone. I think I never played Goomba in a 1v1. Actually. Oh, wow, that's interesting. That's cool. So, yeah, maybe Goomba. Yeah. And, and Tom, your list of players, Alex Harold, Lee Harold, Andals, <laughs> Def King, Barker, Emo, Incoherent, Samson, Bear, Kassinja, Rafa, Scorpios, Tanjo, and Weasel at the moment. Oh, and, oh, sorry, Re, I forgot, you could also play Marco. Um, oh, right. And, of course. I forgot that. And Tom, you could also play Floosh as well. So, Tom, any like names that stick out to you that you might want to play or avoid? Uh, no idea. Yeah. <laughs> as long as I can, <laughs> as long as I can play the game, I'm happy. Yeah. Like we say, just go for the bourgeois. Just play flute. <laughs> yeah, just play flute. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm looking forward no, just... to playing the the loser of what the hell in EXO in the in the O and twos. So I'll be looking forward to that. <laughs> Cool. Like any other final thoughts or anything like that before we wrap things up? Uh, as always, thank you guys for the restream. Always appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, we give you a good time. Yeah, it's been. We've had. This is the first uh, restream on Silver Gauntlet. So actually, I think a first restream of anywhere that's done a mixed pools one. And yeah, like there's definitely been a learning curve on the restream side, but we had. We had so much uh, fun in everything around here today. So thanks so much for putting on a really good show. Like we really were impressed with you know general execution and playing and everything today. So thanks a lot for hanging out with us. Um, next on the Silver Gauntlets, we have well, we've got tournament after tournament after a little bit of a hiatus uh, from S five because on Saturday. We have the Triforce Blitz Qualifier here on the Silver Gauntlets starting at 7 p.m. UTC on Saturday. So please, please, please get hyped for that as we start the new hosted tournament here on the Silver Gauntlets. Of course, Thanks. we are going to have more mixed pools shenanigans starting, uh, moving on, rest of Swiss plus the bracket phase as well. And I think that's everything from us today. Thank you to the trackers. Thank you for the runners as well. Thank you so much for playing for us. Um, Wolfie, you've been pretty fun to hang out with. Hope we can do this again. Yeah, definitely. Um, and uh, a, a special thank out to, to Baby Shark, who seemed to be near the end, losing her mind a little bit. So thank you for, for holding out until the very end. Um, and yeah, thank you so much, Chuckles. It's been it's been great. I've really enjoyed it. And uh, thank you again to both runners, because without you, we wouldn't be able to do this at all. We'd and have nothing to a, watch. You put on such a great show, honestly. Really well done. And a big shout out to chat as well. Chat's been awesome. Chat's been keeping us on our toes. We couldn't do this without everybody watching the restreams as well um, as we prepare a target for us to, to raid. If there's anybody that HK's got in mind to finish us off with, that'd be great.
we had a, a good time on commentating today. We had lots of <laughs> lots of British had, memes, really. Yes, lots of British fun, as you would expect from. Yeah, I'll I'll have to get you uh, uh, your uh, haggis hunting li- license. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to my haggis pizza that you'll be delivering to me. <laughs> freshly <laughs> caught, freshly caught. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll have uh, somewhere to read shortly, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to Triforce Splits as well. Like, it's uh, our our latest. Well, apart from this, I guess, uh, latest uh, escapade in the Zooter community, and uh, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, shorter seeds, um, but a lot can happen in those seeds, so. Mm. Uh, are you two, Tom and uh, Rhea, are you thinking about playing in the the Triforce Blitz or the Standard Blitz or any, any other tournaments coming up? No, that's too many tournaments already. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not playing. Uh, I'm going to follow for sure, but I'm not going to play. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to play, though. I uh, just don't want to spend too much time on OTR. I love the game, but I still don't want to get burnt out of it. So it's just yeah. better for me to stay on one tournament and do other stuff. Uh, as I do. Yeah, that's Thanks understandable. Down. I'm gonna have the Wind Waker Rando standard tournament that's gonna Oh of course. Yeah. Oh my 